PA Sword. Talking to the Rise of Rookies, obviously, you know, great organization, strong thing, supporting Marvel. Facing off against Nick Bad, starting us off. Don't sleep on Nick Bad. That's all I gotta say here, man. Nick Bad, Nick Bad's been practicing, bro. He's he's ready to fight today. Uh, absolutely has. Plus, I feel like Cap does pretty well against all of these characters, right? I mean, obviously not uh, Cap, not the type of character that dominates a lot of people, but overall just has a surprisingly good matchup spread against a lot of the higher tier characters. And he blows up a lot of those assists. There we go. OTG, easy off the Vodger right there from Nick Bad. Yeah, I really like the pick up there. TK Light. Really good for, you know, just controlling space and being able to get pickups. Misses out twice in a row, though. Sword can't give these kinds of opportunities up, but we drop our own combo with a teleport. That's it right there. Blowing up the assist. Oh, and he was ready for the Rhino charge. Smart stuff here from Nick Bad. And just dashes up with the launcher. Keeps it safe. Keeps it simple. Should be able to kill both here. Maybe not because of the routing here. Dormammu actually comes in. Strange. Thought he was going to get away, but now it looks like they're both going to get shot up, maybe. I don't know. I think the snap might have been the call right there, just because Strange, on, which is on so, such low health. Either way, just looking for the chip. Goes for the up guns. The guns working out beautifully. Hard knockdowns oh, himself, and Sword's going to no. convert that. Huge miscalculation from Nick Bad. And Sword, while we drop the first combo, still gets a mix. Yeah, doesn't matter if you drop it, as long as you get it back. There we go. Throw, able to get the super right here. Gonna be a lot of damage, not gonna be able to kill though. Maybe just let another one rock. It'll take both to, take, to actually chip it though, so he's gonna not commit fully to that. So DHC, you gotta throw him. Oh, we're just catching up. And Nick Bud slacking on the block there. No X Factor for both players. Definitely even matchup now. But can he finish the kill here? No, didn't get the M at the top, and that is throwable. He had the chicken guard too. Missed out three times now on the op the opportunity to potentially get the kill. Goes for the teleport and cancels it into the super. Is going to get the counter. That's gonna get him. It's rough, man. You can't you can't put the Vodgers out against Strange when he has meter like that. I was thinking just maybe he had enough time, but no, it comes out a little too early. Yeah, there's not much. Uh, Strider can actually do in those situations. You can't run Graham because you're going to get sniped from Super. But here we go. Sword starting off very strong right now. Strider somehow survives that teleport. Is actually going to get hit. He gets both. And because of the OTG assist he has, Deadpool, one of those OTG assists that actually will pick up Happy Birthdays. Not only do you get two characters, you get some health back for Strider here in the X Factor level one. So that was a very genius play from Nick Bad here. And the tag. That's time, pulls them out of the Ooh. corner. So you get that good left, right, but misses out on the OTG. Was too close to be able to get anything for it, but would have gotten better mix. It looked like he was holding forward when he went, tried to do the quarter circle there and got the DP motion. Oh, Vajra actually beats him clean. I'm trying to go for the stalking flare. Every single version of shield throw in one combo for Nick Bat, and that'll do it. That was very clean from Nick Bat right there. Kept his composure right at the tail end to make sure he got the kill on Dorm. Now we're all tied up here. Like I said, good game planning. Almost loses Strider. X Factor is a multi purpose there. Kills both characters and regens the health on his anchor. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, I definitely needed that. You know, let's see how Sword answers back here. I mean, he's been close. He was close in that game. He could have easily took it with that early happy birthday. Maybe had an opportunity for a punish there. Footsies go a little bit back and forth. Gets the punish on Strider, and I love that gunshot, and then nothing. Just chill. Yeah, but got a little too overzealous there. Nick Bad able to get the clean hit on the low here on Sword. But can he kill off this? That's the main thing. Ooh, look for the H. Can't quite hit it. Oh, going right after the assist. Intelligently popping the X-Factor, though, trying to save at least Wesker here. TAC to get the trouble. Ooh. Strange and anti-ground kick for the answer there on Wesker. And again, not getting too greedy and save the double jump to throw Sword off just a little bit. Oh, and then it looks like an up back attempt there is not going to work out in his favor. Clean touch, and with the execution, we're going to be able to build that third meter. Going to spend the X, though, to make sure we have cap and point, it looks like. Well, I mean, Sword doesn't have X Factor here, and you got to make sure you kill Dormammu. You got to leave this all up to Strange here. OTG assist just because, just, you know, for the fans. <laughs> just to let you know, man, <laughs> OTG assist. You, know, you don't get to see him too often here, but you know Nick Bad's been rocking it for a while now. Like he's sitting on set point now. Right up the start. Again, trying to find that same double jump, that really, really late anti-ground kick can be super effective. Ooh, look at the spacing there off the teleport. He has to watch the bolt assist. That's the thing that he's been getting blown up by. When Nick Bat has two bars, he's ready to let it rock. 
Okay, timing on the teleport was very good to avoid the Vajra. Looks for the high-low, almost gets the confirm. Would have been nice, but instead we get caught by the Vajra. He's gonna cash, you know, just take what you can right there. Phantom Dance, no charging star, he was in the air. Okay, Glass is off. This is a good look for Sword here. She's got to watch out for the Vajra. Oh, and he does. Good timing on that. Good defense and comes up with a great throw. Should be able to kill here and goes for the Maximum Wesker in the air just to make sure he's not going to have to spend an extra bar. There we go. Let's see. Teleport, Dark Hole, Air. Yes, great adjustment. Snap mid screen going right after Strider. I think this is uh, a good idea when Nick Bad still has X Factor intact. Oh, Jaguar Kick's about to get blown up here. X Factor. Yeah, that was forced. Smart though, you have the lead, even with that Strider anchor, keeping your whole team intact oh. is huge. Almost gets the confirm twice in a row, misses out. Nick Bad somehow living on a prayer, finally gets hit though. It's hard because you have to be, you have to make the notice right there where you have to go in the Cobra Strike pretty early because you know your uh, crouch medium is not going to connect. This would be an all timer from Nick Bed. There's no ah. way this. There's no way. Yeah, nah. especially with the tag. There you go. Not with like chaotic flame and stalking flare and just there's just too many good supers on sword side that track and cover most of the screen. Strider is smoked in that situation. That's down to set a point. Back to character select here for sword. Gonna read things things a little bit, maybe just a little bit of a slowdown, a costume change perhaps. Oh, especially when you're in a tournament like this, man. You know, it's one thing to play online, but when you're playing in person, the nerves kind of come out a little bit more, you know? Yeah, a completely different experience for sure, as we are going to get into game five. Right off the rip, trying to dash up and look for the low. A little more aggressive of a start from Nick Bad than we've seen, which I definitely like. I, I like it when he transitions a little bit to the aggressive side, back from the zoning. He's really getting good at that type of situational marvel. You know, look at him space out right there perfectly. Let Vajra make him scared, set up his shield, get in for free. That's classic marvel, man. Let your assist do the work for you, and then you just capitalize on it. Definitely one of the smartest things you can do. Roll. Punish. Yeah, absolutely. The left, right had plenty of time to, to kind of do whatever he wanted at that point. Sword. A little unfortunate to get caught in the air like that. He has to believe in this mix-up or meaty strange right here just because you already know Super is coming. Ooh, he's just going to straight up X-Factor, though. Lands and swings. The Six Ward tries to frame chat, but Nick Bad says, I'm just, I'm out of there. I'm not interacting. You got out. Let it rock. Yes, yeah. You got to slow Nick down a little bit here. You see that Vajra? You let that Super go. Oh, he got smoked. Oh, and tried to go for a DHC of some kind, but really no matter what. And this leaves you popped in the air, so Vajra? No, instead, again, just plays a little low and slow for Nick Bad here. Definitely the correct decision to just not take any risks. You have such a sizable Ooh. lead here. Yeah, you really just, oh, that's not a good start here. Sword, oh, Sword dropped it. He definitely had Deadpool dead right there. He's yeah. still gonna have a little health here. He might what? hard tag now. Twice in a row he's had an opportunity. Nick Bad goes for the second jump that guarantees his death there. We still need a couple more touches though. Strange does not have a lot of bars. We're able to get our hit. No way. Is he going to? Okay. On the way down, giving him another chance. Look at off the shield in the cartwheel as the shield falls through. Nick Bad <laughs> able to clutch this one out. 3 2. Dude, the shield on the way back so delayed. I like it. It was looking good, man. He did his thing. All right, so. See how Apology Boy does here against Scam Likely. If I, unless I'm just mistaken, I'm pretty sure these two play pretty often too. I mean, they're both uh, very active Parsec players. Oh yeah, man, we're about to see a banger right here. You already know, you already got that Mora Doom Virgil versus uh, ZMC here. Battle of the top tiers. I found out recently that Apology Boy plays uh, Street Fighter also. He's a JP player, he's pretty good actually. Hmm. Definitely not bad. It makes sense with you the said JP, game. you yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense, you know, ghosts and uh, ghosts and goblins and fireballs, it all makes sense. Yeah, JP could be a Dark Soccer's character, no <laughs> lie. Oh, man, but already a fourth of the life total off, make it even more as the meatballs continue to connect. The fireball game for Morgan looking so good. This game likely is doing a really good job of navigating the fireballs in that tail end. But not going to matter. Shell kick coming through for Apology Boy here. Able to get the kill on zero. Follow up into Dante now. Apology Boy almost got punished really heavily for something very basic there. Threw two fireballs that actually did not come out. Canceled a little bit early on two grounded fireballs. That's how zero closed that distance and got that jam session call. Almost loses two characters again. We are living on a prayer right now. The life totals are not telling how close a couple of these opportunities oh, have been. Oh, absolutely. It's a fireball or a shell kick away. 
away, but Scam likely doing the right thing. DT in out, getting Dante in the back there, getting Virgil. Let him get some health here, especially in DT. He regens faster, too. Yeah, Jam Session also is just a great assist to be able to deal with Morgan. They were able to break, uh, do missiles on their way up, potentially be able to, you know, just suffer from being able to get pressure, just like that. Look oh. for the launcher. Apology Boy with a great punish. That was very clean, because Scam likely thought he had him right there. There we go, going back at the Virgil here. Meaty on Dante, yeah, easy X Factor, but no adjustment with the missiles. Okay, and there we go. Ends up working out in the end, still finds the hit. That's, I feel like when you're playing Team Chris G, that's generally the correct option. Once you get your opponent down to one character, usually if you can safely get Virgil, that's the easiest path to victory. Oh yeah, 100%, man. You just throw the fireballs and don't let something like this happen. Don't get caught. Oh no, missing the OTG here. Didn't have Buster Charge though, so would have had to X Factor. So that was a really scary spot as we get so Genmu active. Ooh, Virgil taking a lot of damage here. Oh my goodness. And I love that Scam Likely is just committing to punishing Virgil in that spot. Now you've got Apology Boy a little more on notice. Has to be much more careful about certain assist calls. Yeah, you can't call your Rapid Slash. Your missiles are still intact here. But if you lose Morgan, this is going to be pretty rough. But not likely to happen here. Great stuff with the Shell Kick from Apology Boy. Okay, Rapid Slash just to try and push away. Actually does get the Tech forward and had a small opportunity there. But gets mauled out by Fireball right away. Okay, Dante taking some meter as well. Stand light. A little bit of damage. Good back off there. Especially playing against Morgan with Dante, you have to pick your spots very wisely. Yeah. I mean, he could definitely fight. He has mobility in the air. He has to teleport. But you got to wait out those Astrals to get a look. Yeah, plus, I mean, you have a great anti-fireball tool in Stinger, but you have to hit, like, the lottery Stinger for it to be convertible. For sure. Here we go. DT going back in the swords here, trying to bring Virgil in. But Virgil almost got blown up. And then what an X Factor here from Apology Boy. And, likely. and gets Virgil in response. DT, time to find the hit. Chucks the round trip. Careful for the X Factor Ooh. cancel. You know, nine out of ten times, I think that Stinger connects, right? Oh go. my god, gets the throw, and since he's in X Factor 2, he's able to get the convert, misses out on the secondary confirm. That oh. was a very sneaky call with the jam session yeah, jump age. Because you know he wanted hard kick right there. Yeah, interesting choice to go for a jump back normal there that wasn't uh, Helm oh. also, but luckily, I mean, Morgan not doing as much with Happy Birthdays as some other characters here in the game as well. You know, Scam likely finds that touch. There we go. That's like probably the first clean touch Scam likely has gotten zero so far. So let's see if these loops are fresh right now. And no, right? As I say something, they drop out. But now we got Dr. Doom, though. So here's a really good chance for Scam likely to attack because it's not like Morgan's going to do much besides build your meter, but you got to get in. Distance closed. Tried to call the assist. Uh -oh. Able to just pretty freely beat everything in that spot. Shell kick still hits on its way down. Shell too. kick's kind of ridiculous. The hurt box on that is. Uh, Really good. There we go. So again, move activated here. Zero has to make something happen with these busters. Slow down some of this bullet hell. Okay, there it is. Astral Vision, Rapid Slash, no jam session get blown up here, and so is Zero. And now just looking for Chip. Anything really to kill Dante. Had, a, again, kind of a lottery type of hit, getting both on the... Uh, on the reverb shock, but couldn't find anything for it. X Factor available. You still have Virgil with X Factor. That's the biggest thing here. Yeah. You know, as you're, you're down one character, it's not over until Virgil's actually gone. So this character can do many things as blow up your whole team in one hit. So far, playing pretty risk adverse, as you should. X Factor can't come through, but the push block. Maybe actually mashed X Factor and only got it once. Does give oh, two characters still. Oh no, you gotta get this hit before he X Factor cancels. Hellbreaker on the way down and Apology Boy doing the virtual classic. When in doubt, Helmbreaker it out, man. Especially when your opponent already has their X Factor popped like that. You get your guard cancel, you might as well just take some kind of opportunity, take a shot of some kind. I mean, it was a little rough because Scam likely didn't have time to get the round trip out to set up something in the incoming. We go. Got our pins at the corner. Don't. Oh, alpha counter. That might have been a mistake there. Yeah, potentially. Morgan definitely has been doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. Scam likely. You got to capitalize on this. You cannot let the character get away. We need these loops. There we go. Clean. 
Need a few more. This is looking good. If you get Virgil out of here. Oh, no. The happy birthday. Oh, it just actually couldn't be worse. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rough one because, like, in the scrambles like that, you already know Jam Session's such a great assist. But when Virgil's already swinging, man, it'll blow it up every time. Yeah, but popping your X-Factor there and then losing the character and not getting any of Scam Likelys. I mean, this has been the shell that has been winning the game for Apology Boy for the most part, though. So to see, keep that consistency. Fireball game looking okay. We're going to go into DT, actually. You got to keep the consistency here. I mean, you still have Mora Doom, which is obviously fantastic. You lost Virgil, but you're still in this game because this shell is so strong. But Virgil on the back can still take care of this, that's for sure. Misses all up. Okay, zero is very low here on health. May have to pop the X Factor. Got them both! Oh no, and he dives down into a fireball. A soul drain, no less, gets the connection. And now he's gonna have to look for a big X Factor cancel. It really feels like the only shot we've got. That if that was not any more than a Morgan thing to happen to you. Oh, high time, able to catch them both on the way down. Not enough though, are you close enough? No. Oh, definitely had time, but was really hesitant. Yeah. I love it, I love it. You know you know that swords are gonna deal with that fireball, so Apology Boy, while, they're, while they maybe are gonna feel a little more safe, that stinger is free. Man, absolutely, but here we go, game five, man, bringing it back. Let's see what adjustments Apology Boy can make right there. The one thing is, is you just can't lose Virgil. Yeah, I mean, just gave him away calls. A, again on what we said was like just not a great alpha counter. Definitely felt like an execution error. And, you know, it happens from time to time. It's just part of the game. An alpha counter comes out. You want to throw a fireball. You just – and blocks done just a tad longer than you thought. Plus, I mean, depending on the type of uh, assist you're playing, uh, it can be like that. I mean, Doom missiles, a lot of people will call on, like, reversal timing. So you're pressing those buttons on block a lot. Oh, yeah, for sure. But here we go. Let's see adjustments we can make. And right now, Apology Boy looking very good. Got Zero already about half health or lower. Look at the low. You're going to get some pressure here off the missiles. I like the I like the opportunity to just stay back, throw the fireballs, build one more bar here. But Oh, look for the Oh, Almost gets a sick confirm, but wasn't quite there after the release of the buster. I agree with you right there, man. If you had to teleport off that or the command dash, you would have been pretty fine. Play. Oh, stagger on Doom there. Taking a little bit of damage. Not going to cost Apology Boy right now. Full control. Raw oh. teleport. Actually managed to get away with it. Gets away with the dash as well. But unfortunately, the follow-up does not go his favor. Dante uh -oh. looking like he might die, and he does. Scam likely thought he got Morgan there. It is assist hit. We go. Almost had it. That would have been it. Okay. The pressure out. Rapid Slash, nothing there. Great evasion from Apology Boy, not giving this game away right now. Yep, slow and steady has to be the name of the game here. Goes for the side swap to make missiles even more consistent. They're way better at hitting all of them when they're going straight up and then straight down. Oh, and just a no. couple fireballs is all it takes. Apology Boy, kind of a game five banger takes it through. TNS regulars, TNS members and TNS regulars. Jason, Game Dev, and Nick Bad. Oh, yeah, you already know. Jason Game Dev has been pushing the Morgan tech, so I'm excited to see if he pulls out any of the stuff he's been putting on Twitter here. I almost feel bad for Nick Bad because he has to deal with that. You know, he has these soldiering loops. I'm hoping he's going to put them on display for us today. Yeah, I mean, Cap, like we said before, though, is a character that has a like, surprisingly okay matchup uh, against certain characters when he has meter. He gets so a look. You, you get an absolute, it couldn't be said better. You get a look generally when you have one bar. But unfortunately, there no it is. Here we go. Gotta watch that fireball. Okay, you're good. One more look. Oh, the low profile, but not gonna matter. Nick Bad so fast with the cartwheel catching the low here. And that's what we were talking about. Captain America does. It, Captain America's health total doesn't matter until it's zero. If he has a bar, he has a chance. Mm -hmm. Always. Here we go. Trying to keep it medium incoming. I like the spacing here from Nick Bad. Not allowing him to just get out for free here. Yeah, maybe too patient there from Jason. Goes for the Ooh. tag, and after that, gets the clean hit. Pops the X Factor. Definitely the right decision. Yo, Nick was playing really good. <laughs> hey, man, that's all it takes. One touch, every character, all up to Jason's Doctor Doom here. A character I don't think he's not known for. Obviously, it's the Morgan, but here we go. We're going to get a chance here to see. All right. 
Plenty of X-Factor time to be able to kill the whole team here. Nice block. If Deadpool Ooh. gets away, this could potentially be a really big issue, but not looking like it now. I think Nick Bad tried to push guard a little too early there. Yeah. <laughs> or he just didn't block. Strider, no X-Factor. Good on the cross up there off the foot dive. Gotta watch level three. Okay. If you can tick throw, which is really hard to do in orbs. It really, really is, because it's the timing of the orbs going around you, plus when you press heavy, it's going to trigger a projectile. It'd be so perfect to find that throw. Here we go. Jason coming through with that clean SDP here, man. Making it happen. He lost all the high-tier characters, top-tier <laughs> characters, and let Dew come through. That's He's like, still top-tier, but, you know, not as Morgan and Virgil. It's like he said, too. That's not the character he's known for at all. Mashes on the light is going to die for it, actually. A ton of damage off of it, but can't quite find the full confirm. Missile's a little too good at breaking it up. I respect the frame trap super there. You got you have to let him rip one time to let him know that you will do it. Yeah. Once you know? per set, you're going to get punished for it, but that's not a problem. It's about the program. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Jason, you don't understand the program, bro. Oh, he might but, understand it. He read it. Yeah, losing cap is really tough here. I mean, Deadpool, we've seen between Duel Kevin, a lot of other players, Wedge, ton of talented Deadpool players. This character is very, very decent in this matchup of being able to, you know, stall in the air at good spacings, be able to potentially contest fireballs with grenades, things like that. But this that is was good. I don't know how much Vajra is going to help here. Uh, not looking like it's going to be a lot. Unfortunately, Deadpool getting hit cleanly, but... Oh, no, no, no. Don't take his meter. He connected. Okay, Doom's taking a lot of damage here. Jason has to be careful of those calls. Not that Strider's good at happy birthday and everybody and whatnot. They still got to watch out for it. Oh. Especially with, with your team health the way that it was. If Strider gets away and gets the hit there, that is a very manageable pool of health for him to go through. But no time to be done on that one. Jason takes it again, this time looking a lot more solid. Clean, clean, man. You got the Virgil going, the Morrigan, Dr. Doom just sitting there being, you know, just helpful with his missiles as always. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Bro, how you get hit and lose all your health and your meter, and now you broke? Jason got three <laughs> bars, just big chilling, nothing to really worry about. Hits another drain. I told you, man, he has the soul drain loops. And, you know, a lot of Morgans will just kind of, you know, throw one out randomly. Jason has, like, certain hits off of him that he can take all your meter for. Yeah. Standing light with both assists, you're losing all of your meter, generally against Jason. And it it's just unfortunate because you're going into your anchor where you should have three, three and a half bars. You barely have one right now. Oh, it's not getting any easier here. Swords continue to chip down, finds the clean hit, and should be able to go for the X Factor. Oh, yeah, keeping it simple. HSHS launcher, and Jason able to take this one 3 0 over Nick Bat. I think he just needed a game to remember he's against Cap. <laughs> Cap got his one game, that was for sure. JC coming up against the Morgan Mirror this time. No, the Captain America shenanigans this time. I, I would say this is exciting, but it's not really exciting. You know, it's going to be a no, lot of missiles, listen. a lot of uh, I know, astral vision, and, you know, some swords to be had. There's some, uh, there's, there's beauty in this matchup here. Is Apology Boy not only starts Virgil, but then Alpha counters in Doom right away. Uh, could have been messed up right there. You know, generally I consider most alpha counters a mess up unless yeah. you have a DP one. Oh, oh yeah. no, I definitely agree. I feel like generally mo it's a very underutilized mechanic, uh, if only just because it's not as useful as some other. Ones. Like there's certain characters like Morgan has a really good alpha counter. And, you know, you can connect an X Factor and confirm off of Suddenly it. Suddenly go to hard drive. Yeah, there's a bunch exactly. Of there's a few in there that are really good, you know, but. Hey, ain't going to really help you out right now. Shell Kick is the killer right here. And taking your meter while you're at it. Just off of that, you've seen the Soul Drain loop right there. Leaves you broke going into Morgan, which you already know. This character is meter hungry. Yeah, especially going into Morgan versus Morgan with assists is a horrible situation to be in. And with that X back there, Jason should just be able to close out the first game. I want to see Apology Boy start Morgan. Start Morgan? I, w I mean... Going into the Morgan Mirror against Jason is definitely a tough task, but I think that Apology Boy, I think it's his best chance. Yeah, I mean, you have to. Oh, Shadow Blade, the start there from Jason. Trying to be very aggressive here, but Missile's coming down for Apology Boy. Allows him to get his Astral Vision started. There we go. Need the flight down, though. 
Jason's getting hit by a bunch of stray fireballs, though. So, like, if he can get the patterns going for Apology Boy, that could be huge right now. Good block. Another good block. Twice in a row, things coming up all his way. Goes for the dash, and now he's just going to chill a little bit. The slowdown. I like that. I respect that. There we go. Shell kick clean here from Apology Boy. Great look. Got the Morgan out of here. But you already know the game doesn't begin until you get to Virgil. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what I was talking about when I wanted to see that Morgan. I feel like uh, Apology Boy has the execution for it, understands the uh, the game plan and the fireball patterns that you kind of have to lean into to be able to be successful in this matchup. Jason looks for the dash, had the right idea, but dashes uh, up forward instead of just forward. Absolutely. It's a funny thing about Morgan mirrors because I know some Morgans don't like playing the mirror match and they'll opt for their off, off characters. Jason, well, day one left right type mix goes for the TAC, goes for it again and takes another bar. You can keep it simple, S, you know, get the foot dive here. No, he's going to take it all the way down. No, dropping the M at the top there. I think spacing was a little messed up for that TAC. Yeah, I think the M was messed up, and that's what made the beam not juggle correctly. We go X Factor. Ooh, no, as missiles raining down here. Apology Boy already had an X Factor 2. This is looking rough now. Yeah, and Virgil's such a master at wasting your X Factor time. Even after this launcher, here comes Best Super, and it actually does hit. Cancel there. One missile. Oh, what a clean teleport here from Jason. I mean, that should be a cleanup. That's going to make it two games now. And for, we talk a lot about Jason. We talk about how Morgan is the heart and soul of this team. That was like no Morgan. Morgan died very, very quickly. Didn't have a lot of impact there. I was mostly just doomed. She didn't have a chance, man. But here we go. It's another chance at this game here to have a chance, you know. Here we go. Sending those soul drains out. Not like uh, Apology Boy has a lot of meter to take, so... Air to air, a little bit of damage, nothing there. Okay, I like how much we're trying to up back here. Trying to stay Ooh. out of pressure. That was a crazy string of offense, a crazy block. Yes. Oh no, getting hit at the top. A little bit more damage here on Morgan. Apology boy, yeah, getting away with the hard tag there. And again, some more soul drains. Where's your life going? Okay, air to air, or uh, anti-air lights, but the missiles kind of preventing the rest of the combo to happen. You should have cashed the super. Yeah, I definitely should have. At least at that point, you make Jason at least spend one Shadow Blade. Yeah, plus you have a DHC into Doom, but now goes into DT, is gonna chuck the round trip, is gonna leave Virgil in. It's gonna end up paying off, maybe. Oh, Judgment Orb able to catch there. Apology Boy looking very good right now. Now, this is the one you got to watch out for. If you can survive at least the one to two bars before a pop of X Factor here from Jason Game Dev, you're in really good position. Oh, oh my God, that little flight to try and delay. I like the idea. Doing a good job there. Yes, throw the lights out, jump back, keep your assist safe. Here we go. Astro Vision on the slowdown for Jason. He got to find something here. Yeah, really need to hit a some kind. Super jump, doesn't get much. He's playing patient. He was going to wait until Astral Vision popped off so he could uh, find a way in. But right now, Apology Boy just has all the patterns going with the missiles. He's looking very strong. Oh, finishing shower. This is the mistake that Jason was looking for. And that's all it takes. One error can throw your whole game away. DT active. Here comes the round trip. HS, foot dive. Oh, almost had it. Helmbreaker catches, though. Oh, I don't like popping X Factor that aggressively and scrambling his doom. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. Virgil, oh, no, not like this. Jason Game Dev. I mean, that's, like we said, one error. That's all it takes when you're playing against Anchor Virgil here. Okay, here we go. We got inside coming up against iHeart Justice. We get to see some of this Wesker and Phoenix Riot action here for y'all. Yeah, I mean, inside, definitely one of the coolest players to get to watch. A very unique team in a very unique order. And definitely some of one of the best players for every single one of his characters. Definitely in the top five for Weskers. Has a super slept on Sentinel and is one of the lone defenders of Viper. <laughs> yeah, there's not too many out there anymore. Just a few, but he's definitely one of them.
Tatum on the other side, though. You know, Phoenix right. Obviously, I heard Justice. Not much. I mean, not much you can say oh. about the guy. He's just he's so so sick. Plays a, again a super unique team comp, and it's just shown so much success. Here comes the first super. Not going to go for much else. Just going to look for the meaty in the mix. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing, though. Wesker does have a decent amount of health, man. So it's pretty hard to kill on one touch here. Send out Maya. Try to get the evidence. I'm going to tell you right now, Maya's going to be the MVP. Especially against Wesker if you can get called out before you get some offense started. Not rising as far as you can. Tries to go for the reset. Gets the clean hit and gets the kill. Okay, gotta watch out for the seismos. Uh oh, Sentinel's about to get smacked. X Factor, very easy here for my heart justice, but the drop. Yeah, that's really, really messy there. That's what I was expecting from inside with Viper. Oh, on the super instead, Ooh. he's gonna get the clean hit with the EX seismo. That delay after the standing heavy. That was exactly where my mind was, <laughs> man. He he delayed it just enough to keep them in hit stun and able to convert off of it and get the kill off here. Okay, tag back out Sentinel, get him out of there. Viper, straight back to work. Oh, trying to go right after Strange, not giving him any space, but what a push guard out. Okay, got to watch the teleport, not a chance inside. So swift with his movement right now, going right after Doctor Strange. And you can see again in the way that he's going for the Viper uh, combos as we're gonna go straight for the Sentinel Infinite. Viper has a lot more delays in her actual combos than you would expect because she, uh, when her hits come out too fast, it pushes people really high in the air and makes her combos very droppable. That's, that's very much the same with her like supers and whatnot. And man, get to see the level three. Haven't seen this one in quite some time. Oh my God, the band technique of the hidden leap. I, I, I've seen <laughs> <laughs> your primary <laughs> Lotus, bro. <laughs> I've seen <laughs> Nemesis level threes more than I've seen Viper level threes. Actually, though, actually. So I Heart Justice may be considering a swap here. I mean, I know that there is a version of his team that does play, we'll say, some other characters. I think he might stick to the same. It, it's sure. just he's just calming down. Like, you know, there was, very, there was really good moments for I Heart Justice in that match where he obviously could have took it, yeah. but things just kind of didn't happen that way. So, you know, sometimes taking your time to reflect your thoughts and get ready for the next match is a good call. It's the ancient proverb, Brandon. Pick your stuff. Yeah, 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 for sure. I agree with that. Unless you're one of the best in the world, you pick whatever you want. <laughs> I'll be true. Mm -hmm. well, here we go. Early start for my heart justice here. Two evidence, though. Got the third one. Oh, if he got the yeah. TAC, you already knew. It's still in investigation mode, though, so wouldn't have been able to go for the objection. Let's get the side swap, though, and the eye. So there we go. We're able to get the swap. That was it. Got to get Phoenix out of here. Yep, this is the call right now. Oh, the tech chase, Captain. Okay, got a little hit there, but lost Phoenix. The inside was in his own head a little bit there, was waiting for the DHC, I think, with how long he delayed that, because Wesker is very good at punishing that super because he can just OTG. Oh, yeah, for sure. Burn kick, extensions. He's going to be able to kill off this. Yeah, definitely a good call here, man. Leave it all down to one character. Inside might think about maybe a hard tag, whatnot. Get, uh, yeah, bring in the Viper. Definitely a good call. Oh my God! Like, come on, bro. <laughs> oh my God! Yep, it gets that little tiny extension there with the gun. So just because ends up working out perfectly. Inside takes another one. Very clean Viper right there, man. He said he, I, he didn't even opt for staircase loops. Like, he just went and did H dash down H. And that is that the signature round start opening there from inside. Has been going for drones and Wesker Super to get the glasses off over and over. It's been paying off every single time. Yeah, he likes the speed boost because, like, if it gives Wesker a chance to get moving and you can't catch him, before you know it, you're getting caught under drones and then he gets an open up from it. Right there, look at that delay up and then the down low. Able to catch I Heart Justice cleanly right there. Yeah, dashing for the crouching medium, not wanting to have to use another gunshot, kill a little bit extra of his time. Here we go, one mix to the side, everything jump light for Ooh. the meaty and the late teleport. That should do it. Here we go, just go for the Cobra Strike. Yep, that's it. Inside, man, 3 0. And dying with your X Factor hurts so bad, but inside just. He's too consistent. Too oh consistent, God. man. You're 100% correct. This is probably my favorite player of all time. Can I just say that? 
Crazy plus my Joe? Modern, That's crazy. My modern, <laughs> plus my modern obsession with Ami. Full schedule, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? We get the Viper Mirror, man, which we don't get to see often. I know we'll talk about it, and, you know, but I'm excited to see it. But, oh, early start here from Crazy Joe. Oh, winning out cleanly, has to go for the reset. Does turn up well, though, as we're able to go for the dash backwards. Things work out beautifully and should get the kill on the Viper, but no, misses a Seismo. Ooh, could cost him here, got a DHC out. Dante's about to get smoked a little bit here. A little damage. Gotta be careful of those jam session calls, that's for sure. And fly, okay, raise the meter. Burn kick, jam session, gonna get a look here. Yes, throw right on H foot dive. Okay. With this clean hit. Drops again, though. Ooh. Consistency issues coming out for Crazy Joe, it looks like. It's full schedule, gets the punish for the second time. Absolutely a rough one right there. Giving full schedule a clean, easy hit and the kill here to get right back into this game. Spends two, got the Viper ready. Dante coming out. Oh, going for unblockable, and there's not much you could do about that, man. Cold Star able to pin you down to set those up perfectly. I think you have to save your second jump for after the size mode is the only way out of that. But either way, not going to be able to learn much about it here. Full schedule finds that clean touch. It should just be able to get the kill on Strider. TAC? Nope. EX? Oh, the extensions. Not enough. Maybe an X Factor there earlier definitely would have got the kill, but not going to matter here. Off of the throw, full schedule in control right now. I like it. Try to keep it meaty. Good blocks in the Helmbreaker. That one can definitely blow you up. Just like that, man. The crouching M from Viper. That that move is actually very slept on, I feel. It's a very good one. The spacing is very good. You can cancel it into your... Uh, your Thunder Knuckle, whatever you want, faint, and then you have a free combo, or you can make it safe as yeah, well. Yeah, the plague of the last game. Hopefully Joe's able to clean those up. Because otherwise, I feel like the game planning was fine. I mean, he he won he won the same amount of neutral interactions as full schedule. It's just full schedules were significantly more impactful. Yeah, you, you know how volatile this game is. Like, one decision, one bad move, it can cost you the match. Oh, burn kick. Cute idea. It doesn't quite come to fruition, but still all right. Hey, look for the Strider there. H really delayed, but what an air throw from Joe. All right, you got to make this count here. I don't think you're going to be able to kill, but... That yeah, was a little too far for the launcher there. Jam Session to carry the character too high into the air, it seemed like. And just like you were talking about, that oh. crouching medium so oh. strong in those spots, but Joe finds a throw somehow. Sometimes it's rare for us to say the defense held out and allowed you to get that hit, but that drop combo again, like you were talking about from earlier, man, that one's going to cost Joe a lot. Okay, Cold Star. There we go. Throw. You can't convert this off Vajra. And he does. Looking good. I mean, that's one of the hard things about playing the mirror also is that uh, full schedule goes for the burn kick whip there to try and get the height to try and go for the throw as we auto-lock chip. I like it. <laughs> Just in case he uh, hard tagged or something like that. I don't know if Joe got a little bit of tech with that, but it was definitely intentional. That just looks for the media Ooh, after try to drive. was a, a cute idea also. Cut through a lot of that. But uh -oh. two button tech. You love to no. see it. No, Ami got hit. <gasps> that is one of my favorite. I love that confirm. The, uh, the hard uh, the yeah. hard kick, uh, super jump, uh, butter gun. Yeah. Oh, Very dude. clean, man. You got to know. You got to get the cancel just right. For the light, trying to cross. That was definitely trying to cross up foot dive. Ends up finding a hit anyways. And just like this, Crazy Joe, unfortunately, is going to be at the mercy of the of the, the three scariest words. Follow my lead. Uh, we're going to slow it down. Gains a little bar here. You might have to follow some lead. Yeah. The cancel. M on the way down. What a sneaky button. But no, drop the bolt cancel there. Okay, goes for the the B cancel. Bro, you don't get to see that out often. See, yeah. You never see that. No, <laughs> no, it's very hard to do. Okay, trying to keep it meaty with the volcano. Okay, slow down. Swap to the sword and gets the clean hit. I it looked like it might have been a cross up. Whatever it was, that was disgusting. Oh man, you know when Ami's coming in with like her uh, down forward S and whatnot, those are very hard to deal with because yeah, she's just a, a weird body character like that, and she can cross you up or hit you meaty from the same side. 
All right, here we go. So, hold on, it's definitely my buttons right now. <laughs> Was it? Mmm, what does that tell you? You might have been getting accidental buttons while playing. Yeah, I mean, he had yeah. Type B on, but he had the, the extra buttons on. Yeah, maybe. Ooh. Watch Joe bring this back tied up, too, no too. Way. He just no says, way. that's all it was, man. My fa my, my pinky was slipping. Bro, because if, if someone <laughs> goes back to button select and then they beat you a game, there's some self there's some self doubt that yeah. starts to creep in, bro. <laughs> oh god, there's some self doubt that starts to creep in. Look at full scale. Yeah, you see, see him going. Seasoned veteran though. He said, "Okay, you change your buttons, but this time I'm gonna play hyper aggressive. You're not gonna breathe this time. You're not gonna be able to kill. Go for the snap. Off for Strider here. Definitely a good call with the unblockable F A D C. And you lost X Factor. This is huge for full schedule right now. Yeah, this is potentially just the game here." Oh, yeah, cash one, call it a day. You know, Strider has that low health total of 750. Okay, trying to get him needy here. FADC, tail end. He, he, just, caught... <laughs> he just kept holding the focus attack. I don't know what happened first, the invincibility coming out of Hammer there or just the tail end of FADC, but it, it connected. Oh, execution error of Revolver. He got the hit he was looking for, too. Box jump medium found it. He went for Jetstream to get across. He went Jetstream DT Launcher. That was sick. Oh, no way. Yo, full, full schedule still got it, bro. JC break, though. Right. Dante could definitely fight in this match. Viper can, too. Look for the killer B on the way down. Box Dash almost had it. Okay, Reverb Shock going into the super here, but catching off the burn kick. Must have did light or medium burn kick because he didn't get across. That's going to hit. Yeah, still hits even on the DT activation, too. DT into Sphere Flame, gets the kill. That's rough, no meter, too. Cross up, M right there. Look at the adjustments, but can't quite get it. All right, now, right now, you're just thinking, maybe try to get two bars here. You're going to get an EX Thunder Knuckle look with a size mode frame trap, maybe. But no, we're going for it early. Yeah, just use it to try and close the distance here. 40 seconds left, though. I feel like there's no reason to rush it too much. You can throw your photons. Right now, Viper doesn't have much besides maybe Seismos and, like, Optic Blast, but there's not much there. You know, just throw your photons out. Chip. Chip slowly. There you go. You can even call your missiles and then use photons with the Team Hyper Super to just keep her away. Cold Star also being a dominant assist there in defensive situations. It's so good for lockdown, but it's super underrated for just running away. Absolutely. And full schedule is going to take that 3-0. DXP. Look at this kid. Look at him. <laughs> He's not playing Iron Man. He's actually playing his stuff. Not bringing the can. No, <laughs> offline Marvel, you know, we got to put the can away. We got to put the uh, the Iron Patriot away. Got to get serious. Point Virgil. Definitely one of the best in the business to do it. Facing off against Lost and Confused. Another Viper. There were a lot of Vipers at TNS, yes, bro. Yes, absolutely are, man. Very excited for it. But here we go. Starting off the swords early. Catching them both. Easy X Factor from DXP. Coming out the gate firing, man. Just like that, should be able to take the kill on one. Viper should follow suit very cleanly behind. It's gonna be all down to the mix up here for Dante. The brother Sparta not looking good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Airplay gonna save right there since it was fully charged. So definitely a good look, but man, you gotta survive some of these swords here because you already know he's gonna go into the set play with the sword glitches. Ooh, clean hit there with the rapid slash. Okay, if you can finish this out, you're definitely good. A little bit of Lunar Phase. A little bit more of the loop. You get one more Lunar Phase, you got this. There you go. Just enough. DXP. I mean, that's how quick these rounds can be. All you need is one hit with Virgil. That's off to the races. Oh, good optic blast use from uh, Lost and Fuse right there. Oh, and the cross up with the Vajra, man. So sneaky. Okay, swords. Picking up with the sword, just trying to keep it as meaty as possible. Don't give Viper room. She's the type of character that can just burst out of situations with her EX moves. Yeah, I was surprised there was no EX Thunder Knuckle there. That was definitely the one, because you have Vajra coming out, you have swords, and Viper can go through all of that. Oh! Almost had it on the drive teleport. Definitely a cute idea. Okay, the sword. Oh, no, the HS, but okay. Well, I don't lost confused to get back in this, but you can't, yeah. 
That was definitely a call. You can't cancel hammer fast enough. The invincibility doesn't start until later in the, uh, act of the frames of it. Oh, and get Stinger there on the back heavy attempt, I do believe. Either way, it's not going to work out as Dante dies to the lunar phase. All up to Doom with his X Factor already popped. Let's see what the Doom can do. All right, Judgment Orb DT trying to go for it with the Stinger, but whiffing there. You almost have to stay out of the air because of Badra, especially when Virgil's this fast. Oh, he's moving right now. You can see it. he have the box dashes, but we're out. No, we're back in, able to catch at the tail end of the round trip. Yeah, all that meter, no way to spend it either. Definitely a little unfortunate there. Lost and confused. But DXP takes another one. For the H, okay, clears. Oh, look for the light on the way down, but the plasma being able to catch there, not allowing Viper to get anything off of that. Oh, good press. Yeah, really good. Actually, that doesn't combo. It's a two separate hits, but either way, we'll take them both. That's because DXP was matching. Okay, drops the combo there, allowing DXP to get free here. I would like to see that EX Thunder Knuckle somewhere in here with all this plasma all over the place. Especially right here. No, goes for the super jump instead. Is not spending on these EX moves here. Goes for the alpha counter. But unfortunately, Dante's going to get cleanly touched for it. Oh, he's going for the extensions before he hits the ground. A little bit more extra damage right there. I mean, he hasn't even used the OTG or wall bounce yet. Look at that optimal stuff from DXP here. All off of that one touch right there. Still not, not enough. quite enough, though. Gets the tag, and you know, listen, the man who owns the office, of course he's ready for the raw tag. Oh, okay. I definitely like the X-Factor from Lost and Fuse, but yeah. DXP was ready for it. Yeah, the reactionary X-Factor, definitely strong. Round trip doesn't oh. quite get the end. Finally, we're able to find off an EX. That was the perfect time to do it, man. DXP had a lot of momentum on his side right there, and Lost and Confused needed something. All right, you got Virgil on Dr. Doom. You got Jam Session, try to keep him from air dashing out. The Jam Session was a little late. Okay. That's the one thing with Strider, you can snipe him out with a good Jam Session call and a preemptive size bonus. Oh, heavy foot dive, though. He's going to be the one to get the hit, Dante. All by his lonesome once again. Mm. Side swap does mm. not quite work out the way he was looking. Can't get the super jump though. Oh, what a stinger. Jet stream. Yes, to get him out. No, he definitely had it. That was the perfect decision yeah, made there to get away from missiles. Just didn't believe on the distance. Yeah, but jet stream definitely took him far enough. A little unfortunate on the miscalculation, but DXP, you take those. The yeah, LT. One of the favorites to win everything he attends facing off against T Hawk. Playing with that. To, yeah, you love that name, don't my you? My favorite way to buff a Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even put him in six. They put Lillian instead. <laughs> she's giving him a gun. Too. Although she's cool, though, man. She's cool. <laughs> I think the character's cool. But, you know, besides the fact, you know, another character I think is cool? Spencer. Yep, so far. T Hawk's actually looking really good until the air throw. Things get a little messy for him. And we've seen how these types of situation then. Cool, a little dash in between just to give a little bit more distance. I like this, the little adjustments that LT will make just knowing his characters so well. Yeah, it gives you better corner carry. And also because you're hard tagging in that combo, it pushes them far enough away to guarantee the hard tag's not gonna hit the character that's crumpled. Absolutely, here we go, zip up. Oh, same side, catch up from the beam, 80K. This is gonna be a lot of damage right here. And I love the hard tag in the Doom because it helps with the meter build. Yep. You know, and uh, so one thing is, is when you're dashing, when you're uh, DHCing out, you need to make sure you have it for Spencer. Checks the low after the drop, still finds the clean touch. T Hawk asleep at the wheel on that one. Now, speaking of meter build, you can keep this meterless. I mean, LT looking very strong right now. Oh, you knew. You know when you see the jump up light and the push guard right there, the jawbreaker anti air is coming out. Yeah, or if you just see nothing. I mean, a lot of the times, especially if you have a double jump character, you want to block the first interaction and just mash double jump without push blocking. Or like super delay push blocking yeah. the light. Or nothing at all and then double jump yeah. like you were saying. Or like you have to like X and then jump. There's so many there's so many layers and it's just not in your favor. It's yeah, so it's one of those things because you already know Mar Marvel's so fast of a game, yeah. it's really hard to make that decision in a split second. 
Oh, already got the full setup. Definitely a winning strategy right there. Dolphin kick is as well. Yeah, even with the dolphin kick hitting, can't quite find its mark afterwards. Dashing up. I like what T Hawk's doing right here. Slow it down. You know, LT is uh, such a fast player that he could fully take advantage of you quickly. Oh, the dead body from Doom actually blocked the crouching medium there, which had a chance to hit the T Hawk with a huge opportunity here. Let's see how these lightning loops are. You only need a few, and right now they're looking good. Here we go. All right, nothing there. Okay, Ford H. Oh, and able to frame trap in between, but drops him. What an uh, X factor there from LT. Releases level one Buster because he thinks it's going to give him a better opportunity. Instead, because of the low hit stun, is able to go for the cancel. Oh, that's Absolutely. a heartbreaker. Oh, and again with the overhead into Pierce there while in X factor. So you already know this is going to hurt badly. Okay, all up to Dante. You still have X Factor trying to go for it again. Yeah, see, there you go. He even took the hit on it and was able to backdash out because it was high enough, but not going to matter. LT is just so fast with getting these hits. Yeah, keep it simple. Level three, get out of there, get to game three. Definitely the correct decision from LT. T Hawk, oh, we had the hit, we had the opportunity, everything that the stars were aligning. Yeah, unfortunately with stars, they move when the earth moves, so sometimes you're going to miss your shots. <laughs> you know, actually, we're just seeing the projected light of the star that's already... <laughs> nice jab from LT. <laughs> and he gets the cross back underneath, oh. couple hits in a row, Zero's going to die for it. <laughs> All right, here we go, sets the pulse up underneath, that's able to catch. you. It, it's like you see it, but you just don't know what he's going to do, man. And you just have to guess on the 50-50 on the one coming. Yeah, and there's extra layers to it that are, like, if you're not confident, uh, can get really messy. Because if you dash up there, he reactions super jump. Oh, and yeah, yeah, absolutely. He either gets OS uh, throw or uh, dolphin kick at the top. There we go, ADK, get the kill here. Dante, again, not one of the strongest anchors. Can fight a little bit, but you got to get the clean hit on Spencer here. You know, you have two bars, one Bionic Arm. That's yes. going to drop. No, okay, good. Some, yeah, that is really finicky. Sometimes at the tail end of Fireworks, it can drop, but T-Hawk, here we go. Oh, going to be able to get the kill? Yes. Mm, I know, I'm not liking the routing. Yeah, yeah, I'm not liking the routing there because you could either uh, do another Crystal or find a way to get the hard knockdown and try and get more Air Raid or uh, Acid Rain or whatever you call it. <laughs> Three room shock, doesn't find its mark. DHC had to go for the up back, does block the first layer. Now, this is like one of those matchups you say, like, Nova, I definitely think wins this matchup, and he's showing you why right here. Yeah, there's some nuance to it for sure, but especially when Nova has an assist and Dante doesn't, you are in just a. You got to work really you're hard. You're kind of cooked. Yeah, absolutely. LT going to take that 3 0 over Give T Hawk the gun. All right, so with zero instead, definitely the better, <laughs> the better matchup call, we'll say. Oh, for sure, for sure. You're still winners, you know. Playing, playing zero goes a long way, obviously. Prodigy, kind of not only rock with the Doom, which he has been playing a lot of Morgan uh, recently, so he's gonna stick to something more familiar. He is gonna play the Rocks as well. Well, let's see oh, how that okay. I, I sometimes I do like the molecular shield call, man. It's definitely a good look. Already neutral, looking pretty squeaky clean right now. Taking a decent amount of damage, but, you know, could be much worse, especially with you already built up to the two bars. Oh, but Magneto's losing a lot of health here. Prodigy got to find a way to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, and your team losing access to being able to DHC out it definitely makes it a little more complicated than it needs to be, but a clean hit will solve all of those problems. Yeah, absolutely. And you can keep this meter list. No, but the drop right there. Now PZ's going to get uh, zero out of here cleanly. Bring another photons. Extra bullet, a little bit of damage on Doom. Take what he gives you. Okay, come up with the S and the Tri-Dash overhead. Able to connect here for Prodigy. Both of Prodigy's hits have been off the exact same sequence right now. The clean air movement into the jumping S and just being able to find that secondary mix-up afterwards. Definitely working very well if we get Dr. Doom out of the picture. Now Prodigy's in an area where you can actually spend at least one if you need to, yeah. you know? Oh, giving away Virgil, you no, PZ! That, yeah, able to get the reset again, but the defense holding up for PZ here. 
Yeah, a little sloppy from both players here, but DT activation gonna try and make his mark right here, right now. Yeah, and see, the thing is, is PZ wants to save the X Factor for Phoenix. You almost have to if you want a shot at this. Oh, opportunity on the super jump, couldn't quite find it. Okay, Judgment Orb trying to slow him down here. Off the, ooh, okay, the teleport. Good evasion there from Prodigy. Prodigy. Stand H had it. Twice in a row he gets the standing H and actually cuts through the projectile bug tooth to fix the confirm, which is very smart. But with Virgil dying, now zero, all you have to do is do something very aggressive to make him pop his X-Factor. He might not even need to. There it is. Okay, you're going to get a pop on Phoenix. So again, move. X-Factor's forced. Got to hold your buster for a look here. Wow, what a throw. Missed the TK, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter there. I mean, that's sometimes I feel like that can be an okay way to pop Phoenix, but that was a little too messy because when you pop Phoenix in the air, it resets her air actions and it resets her ability to call assists, even if she is super dumb. So in that spot, she pops there uh, and she's able to call Doom Rocks. You hear the rocks come out immediately and she just gets free reign to move. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's definitely a good way to like keep yourself safe just in case you have a character that can teleport, whatnot, get to you pretty fast. Easy. Gonna keep it together here. Same stuff, not expecting a swap. Okay, looking for the flight, trying to drop the S there. Like we said, the first two hits of the set were both from Prodigy, and they both were off the same confirm, which is that S he's scouting for. Oh, Stand H almost had it there. Yes! Easy able to win out in the neutral or the scrambles right there. Now, Crouching. whatever, you gotta snap this. Crouching heavy starter to. That's got to be a push block, right? Uh, yeah. Whatever. I mean, whatever hits, man. You know, it's just, oh, he's going to play through. Okay. I mean, not quite at three bars. You have to hit Doom right away, but this is doable, Ooh. and he does. There we go. Build a little bit of meter. Go for the snap here. Okay, good blocks from Prodigy, though. Okay, underneath. For the H or the S. And again, oh, I like it. The little fadeaway M with the side switch oh. as well. And so smart to go straight to launcher there too, knowing that the rest of the normals could potentially be out of range and make the combo a little more unstable. Looks for the reset, oh, not no. gonna work. And Rakoha also definitely not what we were looking for, but he tags. That's rough right there. You're giving it to Prodigy for free. Um, this is, you're in the area of the spend here when you got five bars, but opting for the TAC instead. Honestly, since PZ, uh, since Prodigy's not going to spend meter, that Raw tag is not too bad from PZ because now Zero gets a decent amount of his life back. Trading half of your life on Doom for half Ooh. of your life on Zero would have been okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Prodigy able to get that clean throw right there and get Dr. Doom out of here, keep it meterless as well. That might, tag? that might just be enough to seal it here. Gets the clean touch on Zero, but goes for the launcher instead of trying to go for the normals. Oh, that was very sneaky with the rocks right there. One hit a chip will do it here. And then, P and then uh, Prodigy lost the assist as well. TAC and the TAC oh. blows up zero. Yeah, double TAC was attempted. Didn't quite work out the way he was expecting it to. But Virgil, as we know, a very good anti-Phoenix character here. Just depends on how the touch goes. TK Overdrive gets hit immediately. Okay, there we go, round trip. This is perfect. X-Factor throws up with the swords again. He's going to get a look with the box dash H, but the, oh, the blocks here from Prodigy. All I got to do is keep her in block stun. That's the most important thing here. When her X-Factor runs out, she is on a clock that she just cannot survive. She oh. will get chipped out. He gets one more look here, though. Oh, with the crouching lights, TK Overdrive able to connect. That will do it. Prodigy sneaking off with that one. Peasy. Definitely had a chance there, man. Had three bars going into the Dark Phoenix, getting the pop and whatnot. Just Prodigy's defense was able to hold up. Yeah, when, you're when your opponent's able to block that well, it just forces you to spend meter a little faster than you would like to. If he had one more bar there, I think he has time to stall out the entire X-Factor. Oh, yeah, 100% agree with that. All right, let's see adjustments on PZ here, man. Get the zero going early. Maybe snap even early, too. I know it's it's one of those things, you know, you got you got uh, Magneto here, but like getting Phoenix off the team right away is like a breath of fresh air and knowing that you don't have to fight her later. It unburdens you for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but no, we're gonna go for the kill. Kill snap is also okay too. We'll have to see again what PZ decides to do. Does block the cross up, tries to go for the overhead, not gonna work. Prodigy, a chance to oh. fight, and the chance to fight turns into a clean one. 
You know, the crazy thing is, is like Magneto's been getting kind of blown up here, but Doctor Doom has been coming in the clutch for Prodigy. Those air to air lights, air to air M's have been coming in dividend. All right, side switch. Okay, just a little too far out there for that Sand H to actually catch the rest. Yeah, Hit Sun wasn't working out in his favor. Yeah, but see, now now you're dealing with Prodigy's at four and a half right now. Oh, Even snapping is not going to do it. You're going to end up having to face uh, Dark Phoenix no matter what. We'll see how he's able to do it, though. PZ obviously has the resources for it. Tries to go for the reset there. Again, saving meter. Four and a half bars against the five of Phoenix. Oh, good buster release there from PZ. You are fully loaded, though. So if you can get her the pop in a very, like, you know, smart spot, you'll be okay. Two very good dashes. Put you in a reasonable spot. Yeah, I got to save the meter here and get this clean hit. Maybe a Team Hyper Super at some point and then pop an X afterwards. Oh, instead it's just going to be the way that it is. Here comes the Sokenmu. I'm surprised. I maybe would have spent three bars to go all the way to Virgil. Oh, but the chip. You're going to force X right here. Sokenmu again. You're going to get a look with the Buster. Almost. That's a lot of damage because Phoenix does not carry a lot of health, though. Continuing with the block string. Maybe going to try and set up for an unblockable here, depending. No, oh. it's just going to keep it solid. Goes for the forward heavy again. And PZ, able to clutch up on that one. Zero is so good move. I, I love what PZ did there. He didn't jump off the game plan. He said, I'm just going to keep you blocking until you just crack right there. And that was a good look. All right, Prodigy able to get the very clean hit here off the molecular shield. Got the TAC, so you're going to build a lot of bar here. You're going to have to come to a point either you're going to TAC again or just start to try and go for the infinite. Nope, keeps it to the TAC, spends the one, spends the two. Yeah, getting the kill on zero, definitely well worth the bar. All right, keep it into the meaty H on incoming, but here we go. PZ Boy coming down with the counter hit and, and a great side switch as well. I, this is snap area. You snap this, right? Yeah, absolutely. Can you see? He's going to kill right through. Okay, I mean, it's going to cost a lot of bar to kill, though. Ooh, almost with anti-air crouch lights? Raji almost close enough to get the punish there. High-low game doesn't work out in his favor. Launcher actually hits Virgil. Good cross under, getting back into the corner there. Oh, with the tri-dash light, catching the feet. Prodigy, man. His Doctor Doom has been doing, put in work it's, in a set. It's been the MVP without question. And that TAC reset? Look yeah. at it. He's gone for it every time in three games. So, like, for him to, like, fake it there is huge. Oh! Virgil launcher completely gets me. Dude, he loses out immediately to the Phoenix launcher, but the double jump finds the Helmbreaker. Plenty of time, plenty of X-Factor. This is actually doable for PZ. Definitely doable, 100% correct here, but the Rapid Slash is gonna whiff. Now Prodigy just, it's in his best interest to kind of run away, but here the pop is gonna happen. Judgment Orb. Rapid Slash, oh, the trade-off, and Prodigy able to do it. you got to respect that, swinging on the buttons. I mean, you're Dark Phoenix, you have X-Factor. If you block again, you probably lose. Might as well go down swinging. Damn, dude. Raw S, one of the Florida classics. He can do his thing. I mean, the name does give a lot away. Like, this man loves the Raw S in neutral. Let's see how Obama could actually... Uh, Kind of stop him and slow him down here. That is definitely the key to beating Raw S, is that he is a super aggressive, super fast player. You've got to be able to kind of control neutral, control the space, and don't let him oh. get started because things like this will start to roll. The OTG assist from Virgil, as we've Absolutely. seen many a time. Oh, a little too early on it, but able to keep him in pressure, though. You know, you got the uh, rapid slash, you got some swords. Lunar phase coming through in the clutch. As an anti air. Let's go again with the Tatsu instead. I don't know if you're going to get that many clean hits on EMP Obama. Never mind, you're about oh, to get them all. Dang, yeah. Helmbreaker. We get as many as we need. Absolutely. Oh, with the round trip on the back side. Look for the S. Oh, with a little stagger pressure. Didn't believe, but swords are booted up off the teleport. That's definitely punishable. And all you really want to do here is just be able to secure the kill. 
uh, uh, hopefully on Dante, because level one Frank by himself, no chance he's going to be able to get any kind of mileage. Instead, it's going to be the Team Super, which does get the punish, and that's going to be a fully leveled up Frank. Oh no, drop right there, keeping the pressure, gotta watch out. Frank is level three here. Zombies are starting to chip, hard tag, okay, able to get away with it. That was a little unfortunate there. On the happy birthday, I thought he was going to get max level because when you take pictures of the point character and wow. the assist character, they both count towards your experience as individual values. It's technically two pictures. It doesn't matter, man. Did you see like what Obama was doing with the jam session call, jump up yeah. picture? Like very good to keep Raw S in the corner there. So the pressure was fantastic and tying it up, getting the kill on Wesker here. Rolls underneath, and I mean, this is just one of the best mix-up duos in the game. Uh, definitely Frank, when he's leveled up, is insane with Jam Session. You can see maybe, uh -oh. a, I was going to say maybe another instance of it here, but the Jam Session doesn't come out. Giving the Virgil that chance that he doesn't need. <laughs> Two bars, almost three here for Raw S. This has a lot of level three X-Factor still. And there, there's not much you could do about that. Like, Helmbreaker from Dante is good, but not compared to Virgil's buttons. There you go, Raw S. Well, instead he wins the race, which is rare to say when, again, when you, when you see the way that he plays. Oh, okay, like, good blocks. Confidence in the dashboard there. I like it, teleport out, try to put him back in the corner here. Oh! Wow. Tried to look for it a second time there. Luckily the shopping cart is able to completely answer the attempt to dash underneath. That was a fantastic call from Obama there, man. Yeah, right. Like, he was ready for it, he saw the dashing up. Shopping cart is such a good assist. But here we go, get these lightning loops going. You can get Virgil out of here cleanly. There we go. Okay. All right, keep it a meaty. Yeah, jam session, but not able to finish up the combo. Yeah, I was looking for the dive kick afterwards too, which doesn't quite find the mark the way we were expecting it to, is we're gonna go for the super. It is gonna get a little bit of chip and gets the DHC in also. There we go, Phantom Dance with the glasses off here. And it's like what we were talking about. Rot S is a pretty fast player here, man. So he's looking for his way in as fast as possible. Especially if he catches you grounded with uh, Tatsu, but not gonna matter. Clean stuff from Obama here with the lightning. He's looking good. He's cleaning it up here, man. The loops are about to get intact. He only, he only might need one more bar to finish off Wesker here. Yeah, definitely looking that way. Ooh. And yeah, with the hard tag, he is able to get the level up. So Wesker should die to the end of this super, and he does. Akuma's about to get smoked. Think so? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> little solo break action working it out just because. That's, that's one of those moments where you've thrown Jam Session out so much that Raw S is waiting for it, and it never came. Gonna teleport. Oh, we got them both! Yeah. Shopping cart too. Frank says just to simplify this as much as possible. Oh, the extensions. Akuma's gone. Virgil doesn't got a lot of health as well. Only needs a few of these. Obama in complete control right now. Oh, even off the drop, still is able to get the punish. Wesker all by himself on this one. Wesker is like a pseudo dark anchor. Like he can definitely do it here. There's been many moons since he was a dark anchor, but you know, like you said, he's still he got, he got a little. He got one more left. He could kill three. You know, that's the thing is that he could definitely kill fast enough. Now you got an X factor. Air to error. Oh my goodness. Jump medium, it looked like there. Either Definitely. way. Never mind, Wesker never had a shot. But man, that was that was an awesome air to air M there from Obama. Not enough, gives him a chance, but no X Factor. Yeah, that, that was looking kind of rough. Yeah, the zombie plunger more than enough to be able to stop the attempt there. Stand H, shopping cart's gonna connect. Absolutely is. Gets the trade. The mm. damage on the assist for the uh, the vamping of the meter is super, super strong off of that one. Let's see if he can get it here. Timing's correct. Yes. Get another set of loops here. Oh, no. Dropping down zero. That is rough right there. And the push guard of the S because that was negative. You can definitely punish that. Yeah. From both sides, a little bit of flubs. Oh, S looking for something here. Jumps backwards off the wall a little bit. Can't find the touch, though. Again, the high-low, not a threat from Virgil in those spots. It really has to be the left-right. Oh, okay. Helmbreaker coming down, catching zero here. 
for the teleport. S again. Who would have guessed? Okay. Gotta secure a kill here, though. This cannot go. If Dante lives, Frank has a much better shot. And now, Frank should be cooked. Oh, the cross under S. Yeah. One thing is the meter build intact. He has to get these loops down. I don't think you're going to build enough. Definitely not killing here. A little too early on the cancels there. Drop the character out a little too fast for your sword groups. Good super jump there, just to kind of mitigate the risk. That's going to hit. Cut out the meter. Oh! Actually hits the shopping cart. I was expecting Frank to just run through. I think he got it. Oh, good X Factor from Obama there. Tatsu. Dummy plungers once again. Not getting much value, though. Dash up with the light. Button's too small. You just got to watch his assist calls. No, you do not, because we're tying it up here. I was more worried about a happy birthday, but Seriously. I mean, I forget that Tatsu is Tatsu sometimes. Right up the start, jumping heavy, gets to hit in the assist. Good tech, though. Being able to tech in the opposite direction, save that assist. So important. Oh, lightning on the way down. Can he make the adjustment, though? Shopping cart does help there. Oh, just a little too far, but Jam Session's going to put the lockdown into the corner with the Sogenmu, and the pressure is adding up right now. Yeah, definitely getting a little out of control here. Absolutely agree about that, the control part, man. All it's going to take is one mix up here. Okay, the cross under, back with the Buster release. Dash back underneath has pretty much put this thing away. It's all up to Wesker, and he's not in a good spot here. He's going to have to block a Sogenmu layered mix up for the one time. No, not it. And you already know zero can kill, man. We got them. We got the meter. We have the X factor. Ooh, okay. Yeah, did want to risk loops in X factor, which I definitely respect. There it's we significantly go. different timing, but that'll do it. Obama looking really good in that last game. Here we go, man. Noel versus Coach Steve, man. It's such York. a classic. The New York special. That's where he's from. Don't ever forget <laughs> Mr. Noel. Yeah, man. But here we go. Like, you're already talking about – I think we were talking about this earlier, about how, like, Noel has leveled up his dorm play oh, yeah. exponentially. Yeah, he's definitely been playing less since Evo. But, uh, you know, still stays in shape, still plays the game. Coach Steve, he's uh, retired from the game, actually. But, you know, he said – with t since it's a TNS event, he had two for the one time. So I, you got to respect it. I, I do respect that, man. It's always a pleasure to watch Coach play. So I'm very excited to watch this match. There we go. Dive kick on the way down. Noel had it. Just uh, didn't believe in that situation. And here we go. Coach Steve with the clean throw. I will say one thing that I have talked to. That was a sick game. Dang, I didn't think he could get it. One thing I've talked to Noel about that he's very confident about is that this is the situation he's most comfortable with. Do Phoenix dies. Doom, if he can block, which unfortunately he does not, he spends two bars, he gets dormant, he can spend meter however he wants, and he's super comfortable in that situation. So, Noel's the type of player where he's not too worried about losing Phoenix. Spends that, stalking Flare. This is the situation that Noel's looking for. Yeah, because his uh, dorm runaway in neutral is kind of ridiculous, he's man. He's the best in the world at playing Doom form. Wow, I cannot believe Dr. Doom actually got through that. Nova gets the human rocket punch punish, gets the crumple, and is able to fully push through. Yeah, he's going to be able to kill Dorm here while the X Factor is coming down. This is a huge win for Coach right now. All right, bringing in the Spencer. Look for the grab down. Dr. Doom able to get out cleanly, though. Yeah, finds nothing off that double zip. Yeah, no, you just got to watch out for the zips here, man. They can catch you with the underneath beam. Literally, I was about to say it, and he just literally let it rip. Okay, good jump away. Closing the distance where he can. No X Factor complicates this a lot. Because Coach can do this at any time that he wants to, but just is just going to go for the DHC. Doesn't want to spend the X Factor. It's a, I'd say that's a sign of respect of the Doom here for Noel. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I mean, Coach gets another one of those looks as long as you have X Factor intact. But, I mean, right now, you don't have to overextend yourself here. You're just looking for the chip. Put the photons out. Play it very slow, because Noel has to overextend in order to make this happen. Exactly. Perfect neutral right here from Coach. 
Just playing it the right way, running away, letting the photons do their thing. No assist calls. That's the main thing, and that's why Coach is able to get that there. Absolutely. I like keeping it in the mirror match as well because I feel like Doom does a really good job of kind of mitigating his own strengths. The photons are very, very strong. It's a, a hard character to approach. So if you're going to play defensively, definitely the right call on this team. Oh, and the cross up off the human rocket. Here we go. Yeah, obviously the hard attack there helped build a little bit of more meter, but the drops delayed too long and his character actually ends up on the opposite side so he doesn't get the forward heavy the way he was expecting. That was almost sneaky from Noel there, bro. All right, getting the lockdown, got the missiles down, get the, get the charges up. Ooh, off, of, off the Phoenix assist, TK coming through. Wow. There Even we. goes Dark Hole knowing this missiles were going to OTG. Good throw. Yeah, you can't grapple like that for free, especially if it whiffs. You just wait for him to come underneath, get the free throw every time. KC does not actually connect. I think that was either side or down. Either way, does not quite work out here. Zip, zip, and an ADK. No, oh. looks for the snap, but it doesn't hit. Oh, and a throw again. Missile's coming down. Going to be able to combo this. They won't spend the meter, though. I'm surprised we didn't spend anything to kill Spencer. It, it's one of those things, man. Like, I feel like Spencer is one of Coach's best characters. Like, And plus, he just does ridiculous damage. Yeah, I mean, plus Spencer is just like is the anti-Phoenix portion of this team. So if you can get rid of him, uh, the bird is pretty much guaranteed as long as you can get your team back in order and you can play safe and solid against Doom, which with Dorm plus missiles, you can pretty much wall Doom out. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's not much, man. You're basically praying for a foot dive. Overhead, Piercer able to connect here. Now this is one of those things, I think you just play through, it does not matter, but you gotta keep Spencer alive at all costs. It wouldn't surprise me to see a DHC or a hard tag here. Because once you get the kill on Dorm, that's when you bring in Spencer. There we go, super clean. And the uh, thing is, is you can literally end it a little early, build your bar. End this super early to bring Spencer in, no matter what, so you have him out for the timing of the next mix up. And depending on your hit here, We've seen Coach have a multitude of anti Phoenix pieces of tech. Switch for the Ooh. zip and finds the command though. Should be able to get the perfect setup here. This should be a guaranteed dead Phoenix. A guaranteed, yup, anti Phoenix X. tech. There it is. You knew it was coming, man. Coach had it set up so perfectly. Yeah, as soon as that clean hit comes through, you know how it's going to finish there. Two games, Mr. Coach. Looking good, man. Super consistent. Stand jab, starting it off with the plasma beam and the crouch M, man. Just so efficient. All right, going for the snap mid screen, able to catch Dorm early, so obviously you're going to go after Phoenix. Oy. No way. Left to right, back and forth, finds the jab, can't quite get anything afterwards. All right, this should be clean to get out, but not going to happen off the teleport. What a counter call on the beam from Coach. Left around the javelin, is able to block on the same side. Okay, putting the javelin out. Cause like Doom has to stay at the top of the screen for that. He can literally throw these out most of the time as long as that's not happening right there with the chaotic flame. Nope, oh, get you pretty decent damage there, but doesn't want to go for anything extra. A little damage on Doom and is able to get the try jump to find the low. Noel so sneaky with it, man. Although off that whiff M too. All right, missile's gonna save. Yes, they do. Able to get back in the neutral with the teleport here, and Noel just trying to get the charges and set something up. I like that. Every time you do a, te uh, a teleport at the top, you just pull the charge and dash up. Look at that. Getting blown up here. Doom is out of here. What a snipe from Noel. Good movement to close distance. Can't get anything for it, though. Missile's still kind of a problem. Bionic Arm not going to hit. Gets the high-low. We just jump out of it. Absolutely. Man. Now this is the spot you got to be careful about because Spencer can blow your team up here. All it takes is one Bionic Arm. Missile saving again. Yeah, now you can run away and waste out all his X-Factor time, but not going to happen as he falls to the ground. Okay, blink back, gets the cross up and the clean hit. All right, execution, really, just what it comes down to for Coach. Yeah, you get the OTG here because you use the bomber to preserve your ground bounce. Good. Yep, one more. If this isn't enough, which it probably is, you still get the grapple. And that is it. Coach Steve, man. Yeah, all it takes to close it out. Good stuff to the coach. 
impressive win over Noel. I, I'll go out on a limb and say that I think that even though Dual Kevin may have been surpassed as the best Deadpool these days with people like Wedge and other people running around, I still think he's the best Deadpool versus Zero. Oh, he's so good at the matchup. He definitely knows this matchup considering Joey we used to play it with him all the time. Yep. But, you know, he's fresh off the, uh, playing a lot of Street Fighter here, so I'm excited to see if uh, he's able to get back in that Marvel shape. We were talking about that, though. He said that uh, the whole time he was training for Street Fighter and doing as much as he was for Capcom Cup, he said he was thinking about Marvel. And I don't what? know if that was a, if that was just him, you know, the butter in my biscuit. No, 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 no. Or if no, no. But, I, you know, the guy loves the game. There's something about Marvel that just has an itch about the game that other uh, games can't quite scratch like this one. So. I, I definitely agree. But right now, Kevin's doing a really good job in the neutral here, just sniping out Zero, so looking very strong. Like I said, the best Deadpool against Zero. He just does he's so well practiced in the matchup, finds the hit on Doom. And Doom in this matchup, really your goal generally is to get into Virgil without bleeding the team out. Oh, right into Jam Session. What a confirm with the Jump H there. Easy X Factor for Dual Kevin. Okay, has two bars. Definitely can cash this out. A little bit more quick work. There it is. And this is going to end at mid-screen, so we're going to get another variation of the mix here, left, right, mm. and you just can't quite deal with it. Might have to look for a TAC here, and yeah. yeah, we do. Going to go on an infinite. Okay, looking good right now, keeping the height just right. No way you do it to him. Um, I mean, once you get to the three or you get doomed below the black line, you can cash out. There it is. As soon as he hits four, cash it out, DT. That gives you the extra 10% damage boost on top of that as well, so you'll take that every time. Yeah, and I mean, even if that doesn't kill you, still have one more OTG. It's not very much damage, but you know, it's there. Yeah, I, I, after scaling, it's probably a thousand yeah, damage. <laughs> oh man, but a great start for Duel Kevin. Like you said, just kind of choking out the zero, never really was mm. relevant in the matchup here. Gets a great start again, this time with an air throw. Oh yeah, and he can kill off this air throw. Yeah, having a million dollars is your DHC? You certainly can. A million dollars is the second highest? Uh, after, second full highest scaling? Damage, after full scaling? Yeah. I don't know, man. I hear a lot of different stuff. It's number one if you're in DT. It's number two if you're not, because Hulks is the big is the best oh. in your uh, game of credit. Okay, I'll take that, but you know what else I'll take? Jam session being called with the stand light here from Duel Kevin. The pressure is just, um, just you can't, Jutorius can't stop it. Oh my god, and after the push block is able to find the throw, gets the OTG, and there you go. I mean, that should be another kill coming up, and it's going to end in the mid-screen once again for that more potent mix. Cut time, just to time out the mix as well. Here we go. Push to the corner here, just a little bit of room. What a raw launcher, and the bolo coming in the clutch. Just as God intended, the short you can anti air. Mm. <laughs> oh man, he even says, sure you can. <laughs> I love I love Deadpool. I love everything they've done with this character in this game. I don't like playing against him, but I love it. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, but on here, all fronts. But here we go, man. Jutorius has to make some adjustments right now, man. Dual Kevin 2-0 pretty quickly. I think a lot of it just comes down to the fact that Drew Zero has gotten zero value. Mm. Kevin has just done an amazing job of kind of mitigating everything, using the pineapple surprises, uh, just using his push blocks uh, and Deadpool's overall movement to just be able to avoid just about everything. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with what you're saying there. Like, he's just not been able to get in. The zoning, the jam session, it's very strong. And then when he thinks he gets him in the corner, he gets like a simple little jump like that out of the corner every time. I mean, even just look at the, the life bar. Look at the chip. He's not even taking very uh -oh. much chip, but almost got the happy birthday. Dive kick on the way down. You finally have him where you want him. Going to the Sogenmu here. Calling the assist. And just like that with the command dash down light, able to catch Duel Kevin. And there you go. Should be able to scare the kill and does. There we go. Missile's coming down. Look for the cross up on the lightning there. Adjustment off of the missiles as well. Looking very strong from Jutorius here. Just has to finish it off. And that drop can cost you. You can't give Kevin any space does find the air throw though and has the missiles coming so that should work out the way that he was looking forward to but no Ooh. has to look for the reset still gets it though i respect that that h lightning was very sneaky here maybe a trade oh no gimlet goes right through dual kevin knowing the matchup so well 
Yeah, and this is uh, not a great one coming up here. Doom taking in massive amounts of chip, saving the bar as well. Get up, actually popping the X Factor just to try and kill the rest of Kevin's X Factor, though. That's almost a 9 1 matchup, right? Oh my god, maybe this one's too. Okay. Brave, super brave to go for that in that spot, knowing the exploding air was on the ground. Okay, there we go. Got TT activated. Gonna get to the other side. Look for the box dash and great blocks from Kevin and even better to throw, but the drop. Yeah. Again. But with no uh, with no X Factor and no meter for either player here, mm. Kevin is in such a secure spot. He you can gimlet it out over and over again. If he had DT, he would have to think about it, but he does not. And Stan M is gonna clutch the victory here for Kevin. Oh, this is about to be a banger one right here, man. We got Ray Ray versus Duel Kevin coming up next. I cannot wait to get into this. Oh, dude. This, I know that they're not teammates to any capacity, location, actual esports or, but this feels like a team kill. These are homies, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you already know, man. Every, most everyone in the community, man, you already know each other by then. You know the deal. But And that's how brackets work. You got to fight the homies. Already at the start, though. Slow and slow. I mean, both players content to play neutral, long neutral. They're not too worried about it. Time, I mean, uh, we have 99 seconds for a reason. They're going to use all of it. I, I feel like this is like Marvel at one of its purest forms right here because you already know Ray is not going to overextend himself and put himself into a bad situation, and he's not going to just rush you down. He's going to wait for an assist to follow up and make sure it's clean pressure. Same with Kevin. Yeah, I mean, just getting the back blast set up and finally finds a hit on one small error. That's all that it takes. Deadpool dies for your sins. Mm. There we go. Yep, keep the Tempest super simple. Deadpool out of here. Ray Ray looking very good. Okay, good push guard there, but look at the drones on the way down. And wow, what blocks from Kevin. Oh, Crystal. It, it could be used as an anti-air tool, very good, yeah. but you have to space it correctly. Yeah, it beats a, yeah, I was gonna say just like that. It actually beats out the mag blast as well, but mm -hmm. off the flight, has to go for the cancel. Good DHC, clean play from both players. But again, Ray Ray has just been able to attract so much value off of that hit from Magneto. It's sitting on such a clean lead. So this is like one of those things where like, you know Duel Kevin has to keep Hawkeye alive to get the Doctor Doom, because that's almost a, it's almost an insta-kill unless you mess up pretty badly. Bringing him in, got the drones on the follow-up. Ray's gonna try and get that pressure with the empty jump butter Dude. gun low. So disgusting. Yeah, the visual noise. That's the one time this matchup is not bad, is when Doom is able to get pressure and can guarantee you're gonna block and assist. Absolutely. It's 1v1, it's pretty terrible, but here we go. On the backside, off the plasma beam with the H into gravity squeeze. Ray Ray getting on the board first here. Yeah, an awkward drop of the combo on the first interaction there, but it's still able to make it work in the end. Absolutely, man. Ray looking surgical in this first match. All right. Kevin has to find something here, man. And that is something you're looking for, but just a little bit too far out from the OTG. Okay. Back glass doesn't quite find its mark. Still fine, though. Third of life off the table already for Ray's Magneto, oh. just off the virtue of having to block the guns, man. I mean, right now, Dual Kevin is definitely winning in neutral. All until then. Okay, good double jump out, and what a throw, but you can't get there in time. So you just have to keep it median like an Oki setup he does. Those two big steps forward, look, he sells that throw mm -hmm. so well. Ooh, cross under quick work, jam session, easy X Factor here for Dual Kevin. Gonna take Doctor Doom out of the equation. That's such an art in this game, is making it look like the deception in your movement. It's kind of like when Nova's like move in a weird way to make it look like a low, or like Dante's do that like double wave dash up, and then they box jump. Oh yeah, yeah so absolutely. Quick work definitely sets up all his cross ups or keeps it same side. But here we go, catching the big body of Sentinel with the TAC. Gonna infinite a little bit, trying to get some meter here and get a little bit of that health down, but drops the big body. Yeah, big body, heavy faller, gets the super, gets the hit, doesn't get enough off of it though. Into crystal, okay, good jump out from Ray. Dropping the H, able to get back out to negate the crystal. Yep, just dash is close enough to be able to make him go for the DHC, he wants to make him waste resources. At this time, if you just waste all that X Factor, you're in a good look for Ray here. 
You know, just watch the jam session call. You do need this. I feel like the worst matchup on your team against Sentinel is like even ish. Still yeah. Slightly <laughs> your favor. <laughs> I mean, Hawkeye does really well. Deadpool does. Dante is probably more of the even ish one. Yeah. I mean, he could. They both can fight each other. You just gotta watch out for those air to air M's. Uh, Sentinel will blow you up for that. But just like this, keeping it so slow, so steady, chipping things out as much as he can, is gonna invest the super. Sentinel cannot punish this. And I like what Dual Kevin's doing right there. He's relying on the triple arrow assist, stop calling the jam session, and he's going to take this game for it. Yeah, only called jam session when it was a guaranteed block string, so he could always get a full suite of guns. Absolutely. So we're all tied up, man. Kevin answered back very strong in that game, too. Okay, trying to snipe at the EM Disruptor out of the air. I mean, I don't hate that because that's right where Deadpool wants to be after a double jump. Uh, definitely the correct height to be going for that if you're going to. Jam session just kind of resets neutral, and resetting neutral feels like a big win for Dual Kevin. Okay, dropping the S, able to get a round jam session. That was very sneaky. I didn't think Ray was ready for it, though. And again, more pineapple surprise. It negates the uh, beam call from Dr. Doom, so he doesn't even have to deal with it most of the time when it's active. Again, Dr. Doom getting blown up here. Ray's taking a lot of damage here, just uh, randomly with the guns. And again, like, it's just trying to find the space in. He's working him to the corner very slowly. Dropping the M, looking for something there. Oh, yeah, 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 that's definitely the right call. Trying to chip him out, almost. Butter gun. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, was just looking for photons, like you said, trying to find something to chip. Jumps up mm. for the throw and finds it because we had already committed to the jump S. Great adjustment there to make sure you get the side switch as well. So that's going to be a lot of damage here. Two bars already built up for Ray Ray. Okay, what a side switch underneath the drones. That's like the Ray Ray classic you know and love. All right, got the three bars built. Hawkeye's out of here. And if there's any character to level three Hawkeye, it's definitely Doctor Doom. You need to do it. Yeah, this character well, cannot come back. There's whatever, no way. Whatever it takes to cook him up, all up to Dante. I mean, plenty of meter, plenty of X-Factor. Can definitely make this work. Oh, we got Doom. I think you X. Super Trying to cover the air. Yep, 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 100%. That was really smart. You do the uh, hysterics, jump up air ray, it covers you both ways, and then Ray can't get out of there for free. Almost got the air to air as well. Almost chips out Magneto. Ray matches the X Factor. Definitely the right call, and here we go, Ray. Dude, got One it. away. That was a crazy X Factor from Ray Ray because he commit to that once just in case it drops. But you can't mash it because if you mash it there, you X, you dash, and you get shot again. Yeah, that was a dude. That's just the situational marvel they know, man. Like, they know this game inside and out, man. Continuing to set up that grenade. Oh, drones come out behind him. Weird situation. Okay, Maglass underneath with the H and the drone follow up here from Ray Ray. All right, he's going to lose Deadpool here. Dante got a lot of work to do. You already know, man. He's going to be trying to sniff that double jump out, possibly, but does not. But the drones. Okay. Dashes out. Manages to fully escape. You know, decommits the way you're supposed to in those spots when you're not sure what the uh, the end result is going to be. And gets the hit again. He caught him on the tail end of that back dash that just left Dante free to a hit there. Gravity squeeze on top of that as well with a little bit more extra of the combos there. Going to be able to kill. Takes the shot. He's able to block. He had to X that. He was he was about to get blown up from the jump S or H. Triple arrow coming on the way down. And just is. so fast to get the throw. Genuinely an absurd throw for Rayway to be able to find the cross up there. The speed of the X Factor is really what enables that situation to come through in his favor. All right, one more. Yeah, it's going to be enough here. And Ray Ray is going to take that one. 3 1 over Dual Kevin. So, Chris Redfield into Modoc. Let's think about this. <laughs> the shield, pretty good. The flight away, pretty good. Oh. In theory, Chris does not have a lot to really interact with. Something like Magnum is okay, but overall, this is a tough one. Yeah, no. Sentinel's already gotten lost half the health here, and that's just that little sequence. 
And here we go, clean hit from Mothman, starting off pretty quickly. Gonna put in the jammer, yeah, you're gonna snap there, put up the Dorito, try to build some more meter, but again, the clean hit almost. Even with the drop though, even with the launcher connecting, even with this clean hit, look at the amount of meter we've already built up, has to go for the hard drive to continue the combo. There's no point to snap there, because you're already gonna be about five anyway, so you gotta kill out here. And as long as Mickey has Spencer, there's always a chance for anti-Phoenix type. I definitely agree. This is the toughest portion of the match coming up oh, now. Oh, no. Though. Oh, you know which way's back. Get out of there. <laughs> All you can do is mash Plink Dash, try to escape. Unfortunately here, things do not go your way. Clean touch and a TAC. All right, going to extend it a little bit longer. All the way back to the down with the teleports. That's so clean from off, man. And then you just get Phoenix out of there. You're sitting at four, or you call Morgan one more time, and you're back to it. Yeah, guaranteed at yeah. this point. Okay, look for the low there. Okay, here come the drones. Okay, okay. opting for Spencer here. I so mean, definitely the right call. But you're not on the ground, so you're not going to be able to get this tech correctly. Oh, that's a great tag, too, because if you're able to kill her with a chip uh, on drones, that's a guaranteed anti-Phoenix tech. Oh, yeah, free every time. If it doesn't hit anything, you zip across, you're going to get smacked. X-Factor going right after Spencer Mothman. Very aware that Spencer has to go for this team to succeed. All right, now you just got to watch the hard drive. Oh, look at the cross up there. Almost had it for Mothman. Yeah, not much to do here as Sentinel does. Okay, get the crouch medium, but wasn't ready. Didn't want to commit to the rocket punch in time. All right, forces X-Factor from Mickey here. And this just should be the end at this point. There's Not a lot of work to really do. New. You look for Chip, it's the best you got, but there's the clean hit. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, pop right into the overdrive, able to connect. Sentinel is out of here, and Mothman going to take that first game. Let's see what Mickey can do. I mean, right now it's all about keeping that Spencer alive for sure. And Modoc is just going to run up to the top, build you about almost a bar just in that sequence. So let's find the hit, though. Snap. There we go, jump over, good dash out. The cross under from Mickey, able to catch Phoenix. Yeah, finding that hit crucial. Not where I was expecting it to happen. Same, tries to go for the exact same timing of mix-up there. Mothman just at the exact same timing of his own, just kind of jumps out of it. Oh, wow, shell kick it on the back end of the box there on Chris. TAC, yeah, going down. All right, it's in F5 already, so you can cash out whenever you like. Oh, all the intelligence now. This, I like it, save the other super. Just so when it hits, it's gonna hurt. Yeah, everything built up about as good as Ooh. it can be. Nice block on the high lows. Look at it, you can just see the intelligence spewing from his forehead, bro. <laughs> and he just has so many big Doritos too, like how do you really interact with it? That's gonna get completely blocked. No, go straight through and gets the clean hit. Let's go, Mickey. Oh, just a little early on that. Okay, good jump out. Shadow Servant's gonna whiff, you can get there in time, no. That's such a difficult super to punish there. All right, slow it down. Just waste some of this Astral Vision. That's it, yes, perfect stuff from Mickey here. All right, you got one more to go. Team Hyper Super, gonna try and get across here. You're gonna get a look with the X Factor. Overhead does connect. Can you adjust? Not quite. Yeah, missing out by just a hair. Doesn't quite get the connection he needed. And look at the life totals just now chill. with the X Factor going down. You have X Factor, just chill. Just relax, that's it, just relax. Yeah, don't call, Mo throw fireballs, don't call Modoc. Just be ready to unfly. Take a few more of those. Okay, one more Astral Vision. Probably gonna get another one here. All up to Sentinel. This one's a pretty rough one for Sentinel here. Easy X Factor from Mothman. Try to get Morgan some of the health back. Yeah, definitely the correct decision. Try and bury this game as quickly as you can. Oh, there doesn't find much. Clean hit in the end. And there you go, Mothman gonna take another one. Dude, Mothman games take so they, they do. He takes his out. time. He makes it so hard to approach him 
to where even when he is beating you pretty handedly, it still is a grind to get the interactions to even have it happen either direction. He's trying to force you into such a bad situation that he can capitalize on. But right there, it's not going to be the case. Chris able to get this hit. Should see a snap. All right, trying to keep her in the corner, trying to dash out. The planking is just a little too fast for Chris to handle. Watch for the dive kick. Look at him, so comfortable playing against just playing Phoenix. Oh, no. He actually commits the super there because he knows he can hit Sentinel, gets the juggle. Oh. Going prone, yeah, definitely a good call there, but not at the tail end of it. Got to keep Spencer alive. I mean, if you're willing to give Sentinel up, that's that's better than losing Spencer at this point. Okay, no Astral Vision off the drones, almost. It's already just in itself hard enough to call uh, drones against Morgan. Oh, air to air, almost got him twice in a row. He finds a hit, but they both were just too little hit stun. Missed the TK grapple there for the OTG off forward throw, but. Not gonna matter here. Mothman with the clean hits. Trying to go for the reset here off the fly. Yeah, Mickey with a lot of opportunities, man. Just They've all gone a little bit astray. Yeah, pretty rough. Looking for the stand jab there, but gonna get duffed by the fireball on the way in. There we go, you have the hard tag. You gotta keep Spencer alive. He's your last chance here in this match. And then right now, Mothman is just building tons of meter here with the straight fireballs and assist calls. Here we go, Sentinel taking another one more. Hard tag, shell kick, gonna blow it up. Oh, hard tag to try and save Sentinel because he didn't want to take the incoming there. But like you said, Spencer is the key to everything here. He has to survive, gets the hit. Can't get the confirm again. Oh no, Sentinel's gonna have to be forced. He, he takes like one hit or blocks a few of those fireballs. He's gonna be forced to X-Factor, which it's about to happen here. You're gonna get a look off this though. Oh, no way. It tracked on Sentinel. Yeah, and the body attack gets the kill as well. Mickey, just a string of unfortunate drops. This a tough one. Mothman, what, what a way to capitalize. All right, you already know the deal here, man. We got one of the best Deadpools out here in Wedge. And you already know the boy Franklin G Fuel coming through here with the Magneto. Thank you so much for saying Franklin because I was holding it. Yeah, I holding. yeah. I, I know you, bro. Up. We've I done had, a lot of commentary together. I definitely I know had, you know. I had Franklin queued up. Wedge, I'll say it. Wedge, Wedge is the best Deadpool right now. I think he definitely. I, he's he's ridiculous. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Cross up crouching medium that was. Using every button Deadpool has. Actually disgusting on the follow up there. And that should kill Virgil. Not carrying a lot of health here. Maybe Pixel. Ooh. Bodger's gonna get. Yeah, because DT was hitting a little too late. Acid right. rain just to, uh, for a little bit of control. Wasn't gonna be able to do anything for it. Frankie G. From downtown with that M, man. Off the butter gun. But here we go. TAC down. Gonna get it with the Magneto. Opting for the infinites here. Um, let's see if he, uh, he has these. He doesn't, but he does. I mean, Magneto has one of the easiest infinites in the game. For sure, for sure, for sure. I like that he didn't go the whole way. He got until he guaranteed the kill. That's exactly what you want to do here. And then coming through with the S again from Frankie catching Deadpool before he can even get started. Yep. I mean, these are two characters that Strider can fight, though. Strider could definitely fight Doom and Magneto and X-Factor. I mean, that's the one thing we talk about with Strider Anchor level three is that he's good to get two characters. He's good for that. Three, it's a little bit out of his range. And here with the Ouroboros, you're going to have to try and catch early. And that's a good start here from Wedge. Oh, yes. He's frame trapping it. Hey, listen, man. Abuse that 9-1. Birds, bombs, and everything in between. Absolutely. Going for the little extensions with Graham. Legion coming out. Should be able to do it. And Wedge making on the comeback of Strider there. Maybe they were right all along. What were they right about? Maybe it is a 9-1. 9-1? Oh, that was kind of funny. Orbs, X-Factor. Strider can blow up anyone in that situation besides Hagar. Okay, teleport with the Vajra. Gets the hit on Magneto. 
Going snap mid screen, trying to get the Virgil in. Same side, quick work, able to put him in the uh, one of those weird states. I don't know the juggle state. My man got he got ducked. He had a chance at getting him. Yeah, traded out in a very odd sequence there. Virgil locked down, continuing to try and jump out of the oh. pressure strings. Clean hit. I, I felt like that almost was an executionary there. I, I, it looked like Frankie was trying to go for a judgment orb, try to catch Wedge as he was clinking forward, but it did need him, and the problem was is Wedge got there pretty quickly. Awesome. I cross under. Okay, good blocks from Frankie here. Not going to get over, though. Okay, good snipe on the Strider assist. And great awareness from Wedge in neutral to get out of the corner at the perfect time. Didn't even allow Frankie to get any pressure on him to switch sides. Oh, off the Strider assist. Oh, my goodness, Wedge. There it is. You already know you're going to eat the 50-50. Easy X Factor here. Going to take away Magneto and leave it all up to Dr. Doom for Frankie. Oh, my God. I big guess. X Factor to see it. Yep, plenty of time to be able to guess on that one. And now Deadpool. All you got to do is play slow, and you can lock this game out. And Wedge knows best. Be able what? to evade everything Frankie tries to go for in the early stages of the sex actor comeback. There we go, jam session. Jump back, DI to the corner. Got to look for a quick work. Oh, no, falling in H in the jam session here for Wedge. He's so elusive when you're trying to catch him, man. It is definitely a problem with his movement. Like, Frankie just cannot pin him down. And that's the craziest thing I feel like about Deadpool is that you're exactly correct about like the entire sequence there. But Deadpool's movement is so simple, but it's so tricky. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the use of the command moves, you know, yeah. the quick work to get out. Forget plinking, because, you know, there can be error in that. You use yeah. the quick work to get out, teleports when you have it, the double jumps to try and sway them in the wrong direction. Just like that, though, man. Frankie's getting cracked over the head here from uh, Deadpool. Might need a TAC. Just going to look for a reset instead and finds the low. Frankie's been trying to jump out I think of a he lot jumps, of these yeah. situations. I definitely think he jumps. He's been up backing a ton in spots. Oh, like he swung. He got them both. X Factor forced right there, and that's level one just to save Virgil. Here comes some more guns. And the worst part about that was is that was certainly a push block. It just was hitting Magneto and not Virgil. Mm, just like that again. Easy X Factor for Wedge. I don't know if he's going to have enough here. He's going to have to TAC or something. Oh, Frankie! Oh, my God. No! That's, that's such a hard one, though. Oh, man. And then he gets a random flight. Oh, and then the fuzzy guard, too, oh, coming out the apart, instant overhead. Man. Oh, Wedge is just playing so well. And with a couple small errors, Frankie, unfortunately, is going to give that one away. Well, Frankie's trying to use his meter before he left. Yeah. Hey. yeah you. A clash of titans, bro. Magneto on the side of Ray Ray. And he's gonna play the special order. Against Morgan teams, he's been playing Sentinel second. Because Shockwave into Hyper Sentinel Force has been like his go-to screen clearing option. Absolutely, and you need that to try and get like some advantage against Morgan and whatnot when you get into that matchup, you know? 100% agreed, but this is where it starts. I mean, we're talking about Morgan, but that's not even oh. the first hurdle. The first hurdle is Modok, but here we go. You saw Magneto hurdle that Dorito, though. Man, was doing good there. Getting the snap here, getting Phoenix in. The one thing is trying to catch her. You know, Mothman is a very elusive player when it comes to some of his characters, and he really knows how to move at them very well. Yeah, I mean, a couple projectiles have connected, but it hasn't been able to get the full meaningful hit the way that you need to in this spot. You're going to have to rip a super here. Yeah, that was definitely the right call. And connecting. You're going to get fireballs off this if you time them right. Yes, you do. That's going to be tons of damage here. And throws the up fireballs preemptively afterwards. And this is, again, He's what fine. we're talking about for Ray. There's the screen, resets things a little bit. Oh, going right after her. I respect that. Okay, got to watch the shell kick here. Beam coming through. I like Sendel being able to cover his assist like that so Ray can kind of get away with it. Trying to counter call this assist or hit Morgan in the sequence as well. Okay. He's going to get a look here if she gets if she doesn't get out. Shell kick does connect, catches them both here from Mothman. Yeah, and you got to keep it as simple as possible. Oh, oh you have the happy birthday. Even after the drop, though, it's still fine. 
And that's like the one thing you got to deal with with Morgan. Like, Morgan get away with a standing light and a shell kick because armor will get blown up instantly because it's three hits. Here we go. On the throw from Mothman. Can you get the OTG? Yes, he does. And the push to the corner here. Fully loaded with five bars and X Factor. He should be able to set this one up for a kill. I mean, body attack loops just like Hyper Sentinel Force. So if you really want to just go for Limit Burst over and over again, you definitely can. But it's not even necessary. Don't do it. A little execution in it, you know? Especially when all you have to do is just, you know, quarter circle and press some buttons. Let's yeah. keep it simple right there. This is Ray Ray. You can't afford to drop this against him. So Mothman going to take that first game. All right. In Mothman fashion, you already know, go to the top, call some Morgan, get some bar to start the match before we even get into neutral. I mean, that's the nice thing about Mothman's team is it's like has it has like a passive, uh, like a passive power that other teams don't where he starts with two bars. Because again, that first two or three Morgan assists are basically free for him because he floats up. He's able to call assists the entire time. He's like one of the, he, if not the only character in the game that does not have to start with but fighting at the beginning of the match because yeah. he doesn't have to deal with it. But here we go, opting for the infinite here from Mothman and looking very good right now. Ari built five bars. If he drops this though, Morgan almost certainly will die. This is going to be going into neutral in a very suspicious situation. I'm okay with cashing it early. You know what I'm saying? I Just agree. pop the one, finishing shower. But Mothman believes in his execution, which I respect totally, you know? Here we go, get the kill, opt for Modoc, put the Dorito out, get Morgan back in so she can get some health back here. Right now, you don't need to call her in the game, so Mothman's going to kind of play a little bit, uh, what is it, assistless at this moment because you don't want to call Phoenix like that yeah. too often, if not at all, to be honest. All right, got to watch out for those air-to-air -air M's. Sentinel can blow you up, and that's it. Checking things out a little bit at a time. Mm. Go, Modoc, one clean hit away from dying here. Maybe a few beams or some rocket punches. Rocket punch a lot of times is what you end up looking for just because oh. it feels non-committal. But jump M, same situation. Yeah, M and the cross up for Ray. So disgusting. I love the use of the one hit M and then wait, delay, forward H foot dive to let the drones do what the drones need to do. I love that he goes for the, uh, the snap now too. I think it's really, really important. I mean, at this point, yeah. Uh, you can catch her at level two. X Factor if she pops and Mothman decides to keep her. Butter gun, okay, try to get some advantage here. Clear some space. Watch out for the dive kick though. Okay, TK overdrive up, going for the throw, able to connect here, missing the fireball. Okay, no OTG. Still an okay situation. Uh -oh. Gonna go for the photons, dives in the wrong position though, gets the hit. Okay, super right there. If you can find a way to lock her down, you got a Team Hyper Super with an X-Factor, you can definitely get a look. That's not it, X-Factor's been popped. Time is dwindling down now. That is it from Ray, and I love the S. Realizes he's in range, does not have to use any movement to get towards him. 12 seconds left on the clock, and for Ray here, honestly, timeout is like the most viable win condition at this point. You just go slow, you just don't call assist. It comes down to percentages of life totals here. So even with this hit, Morgan doesn't have enough time. You've already won. Yeah, there's not much you can do. All you have to do is just keep jumping and just, you already know. It's a tight game at this point. And it, it's like what we talk about all the time. Morgan is an amazing character, but when she's by herself, man, and she needs some damage, unless you have level three, not going to be popping off crazy damage. And even with the level three, assuming she has everything to spend, it still takes so long yes. to do it. It's so something Dante suffers from too. Two characters left under 10 seconds. She couldn't do it if she wanted to. <laughs> there we go. Okay, sis. I see where Ray Ray's going right after this. Is Morgan definitely got a little punish there. So make you think twice a little bit about it. I like that he's trying to go for a little bit of attraction and gravitation. During it, though, to try and mess up the movement a little bit for Mothman, but Moth seemed unfazed in that spot. Is able to get the TAC and should be able to convert an infinite from this. Yeah, he's been one for one right now on the infinites here. And obviously shown from last game, he's going to power all the way through. A little bit more here. Should do it. Luckily for her scaling, it's not crazy bad, and she actually kills in a pretty, quickly time, a pretty quick time. Yeah, the introduction of a special move into her infinite makes it deal so much damage. For sure, for sure. 
On fly, yes, just in time. Hard drive not able to connect. And again, right now, Mothman's in a very good position here, almost close to five. Ray Ray is already down Magneto. Sentinel's having to do a lot of the heavy lifting here and not able to continue lifting. Yep, cash it right away. I definitely think that's a call. You're sitting at four. You can hard tag Modoc in, get one third. That's going to punish. Yeah, now you're already back at five. Now, that's the thing, man. It's hard because you don't want to give Mothman space, but he's able to take and do what he wants with it and get away and just call the assist. It's really hard to deal with. This is on the way down. Yeah, as much as you can. Try to just gain some amount of control, and this is the most important thing. Does get Modok to the ground a little bit, but now he's able to just fly up and chill. Oh, I definitely like that delay S there, trying to find the hit here on Dr. Doom. Just gotta be careful though. I mean, as Mothman, overextensions are how you will lose this game. Trying to search for hits is the only way uh -oh. that Ray can be able to find it. But Ray dashes up, is able to find it in the defensive position still. I like it going optimal right here. Knows he has to keep as much meter as he can. Which is not the case because he's level three. Honestly, depending on the situation here, since he still has X Factor three, Ray might look for a timeout. If he gets a clean hit on Morgan, he could potentially run from G. He could air to air M, able to connect here, but not opting for uh, X Factor here on the kill. So he's gonna have to look for something. He could go. Oh no, not it. All right, you're going to need another clean hit here. Foot dive does it. X Factor real quick. Now your scenario comes into play right now. Yeah, look Nine for seconds. To begin. He may have to force X Factor here. All right, well, now he's ahead. Five seconds. Oh, no. Moth didn't pop X. Still oh, hasn't popped no. X. TK Overdrive still hasn't popped. Oh, throw at the top. And again, looking for it. Rushing in. Time is running out. I think Ray did it. Oh, the foot dive hits. Miscalculation on Moth's part. He should have X-Factored earlier, 100%. Oh, man. Like, right when he got hit first, that was the call right there to do it. He should have x immediately to not have to take chip because the photon chip is what put him behind. Absolutely. Man, what? So clutch from Ray Ray there. All right. Back to the character select here, man. Just need a minute off that one. Mothman was in control that whole match until that last 15 seconds from Ray Ray. Yeah. With that, he said two to one. I mean, these two, when we talk about patient players who are willing oh. to use the entirety of the time, this is just another one of those moments, another one of these sets of players, man. For sure. What a, what a hit from Mothman with the S at the top there. Not able to get too much off of it, but it still matters. Send up the Dorito, put everything out, building the bar. Almost at four already for Mothman very quickly in this match. Yep, use the body attack as the movement here. You get back out of the corner. Definitely a good call. Trying to lock him down. It's really hard to with the drones and whatnot because you already know the deal. Modoc wants to sit in the air most of the time. Where are you at? Okay, good blocks from Ray. This is closed. Doesn't find much for it. All it takes is one EM Disruptor to get in. Tempest trying to save Magneto, keep it clean on the team. Yes, yeah, definitely a good call here. Yeah, Ray will always do whatever it takes to keep the entire team intact. You always know about it. He, the only thing, he's he's raw tag adverse, but he will go for it occasionally too. Yeah, you really have to force it as well, but it's not that easy to force. All right, look for the jump there. Okay, Sentinel crew. Just got to watch out for those air-to-air ends -air of Sentinels. He can hit you from that range. Okay, hard tagging the Morgan. Want to get Modoc some health back. I like that from Modoc here and Mothman. I mean, because you already know the deal. This is one of those sets that's going to go down to like the last 15 to 20 seconds almost every time just because of the mad amounts of neutral that is being played. Time continues to tick. Finding that every single rocket punch that lands is a huge deal in terms of life total right now. Oh, good look here from Mothman. Definitely in the spending range of the TAC, but... The way things are going, I think spending and guarantee the kill, kill is definitely the way. Kill a character every single time if you can, 100% agreed. 
There we go. Big Dorito almost back to five, man. That's so crazy that Morgan can literally build your team's meter like that. Okay. Shockwave able to connect. A little bit of damage on Modok. Medium Disruptor. You are in ship range now. And you saw Ray just didn't commit to anything afterwards, even after that knockdown, because he was waiting for a raw tag. Doesn't oblige, though. Definitely Shockwave is the call there, but now we're getting into that like nitty-gritty time. It's about 16 seconds left. Okay, clean hit on Morgan here. No X-Factor. Possibly you opt for a snap, maybe? Maybe. Oh, he's just a kill. Oh, no. no. Gets nothing off the X. Still gets the hit. Still gets the kill. Now you can run away. Oh, clean hit from Mothman. You have to X. You got to. Yeah, yeah, you got to kill faster. You have to X. This is, right now, this is a tied game. Oh, no. Doesn't take any chip. Goes for the super. And that, that's a draw. Oh my god. So for anyone that does not know or had not heard of this situation, this actually came up at the tournament. And there was a, a bit of a stoppage. You see that they uh, they mashed into the uh, the rematch, but everyone in the crowd said, do not rematch. Give it a minute. Let's see. And everybody went to go get a TO because there was a little bit of uh, a, like uh, unclarity when it comes to the rules which the rules do state that if there is a draw, neither player receives a win. But part of the crowd thought that both players would receive a win. So Ray immediately pops up, is ready to take his victory. Everybody is like, whoa, 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 sit back down. So there was a little bit of a moment. You guys get to see a little bit of it here. But uh, wow, this was, a, this was a crazy thing. But just so you know, the ruling on this was no player receives a point. So... 2-1, that continues. So after a little bit of soul searching and a little bit of finding TOs, they do return. The ruling is handed down by the almighty duelist. It's 2-1 to one is where the set stands. So you get an extra game of Marvel, too, or possibly two more. Here we go, man. That's like one of those things where, like, you know, Ray's like, hey, I thought I won. Like, emotionally yeah. could take it out of you. They're so, really like, you don't it. know. Like, you know, when you're in tournament mode and you're fighting, trying to win, like, that takes a lot out of you, man, you know? So let's see how Ray responds and Mothman himself. And, and Moth right? is going to spend meter right away to take a kill. He said, nobody gets a draw game on me. <laughs> Dude, I respect it. I like trying to build up this momentum, especially with how well you've been able to build up meter. Ray has been surviving in neutral and has been winning in the late game, but he has not been stopping you from building that. Absolutely, 100%. I, I like what Mothman's doing now, playing a little bit more aggressive, realize maybe I need to take the fight to Ray because Ray is able to play the long game and play it so well. All right, Spearflame on the way down. Call the assist, gotta get that Morgan assist. Balloon Bomber, really good durable projectile that also just stalls you in the air a little bit, which is very, very strong for those situations. And again, there we go, photons. Okay, nothing. Drone's gonna get a look here for Ray. Box dash M into the throw after the clean hit. Here we go. Oh no. Okay, mid screen snap going after Phoenix. It's early enough. This is the first snap Ray has gone through in this set. And can he adjust and does and caught Phoenix as well? This is huge for Ray right now. Yeah, that meter spent earlier in the game. Ooh, he but caught. Potentially coming back to bite him, but there's the level three. You do get a Shadow Servant off shadow of this, and X you can maybe? X, yes. Oh, he is going to do it, especially because it's in the corner, so he gets full combo. You had to. You had to no matter what. You had to get Dr. Doom out of there. You just don't get a level three on it and let him rock. All right, hard drive across. We set the neutral here. Rito, oh, super jump. He's, uh, he's forced the X Factor, trying to meet him with the air to air M from Sentinel. That was a throw every day of the week. That was an attempt at a throw. He was looking for the guard break. He whips. That was crazy here. Mothman built with a tons of meter. Here we go. Morgan level three coming through possibly. Nope. Going to do it again. Finishing shower. You possibly get Shadow Blade on the spacing. Yes, you do. And that should be enough. Wow. Mothman, what a bounce back. Takes it to a game five. Uh, go to character select. Like, slow it down. It's game six, my boy. Oh, my God. It's just game six. <laughs> Oh, my God. Wow, what a banger set, man. This is crazy. And the craziest thing to me is that after all of this, Mothman is the one to take the second. 
Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. actually crazy to me that Moth is the one that's like, I need a breather. He said, he said, why, you made me play aggressive? This is crazy. By you all cannot. regards, I would, would have thought for sure that Ray would have gone to character select a spot like that, but he's just so revved up Ray to play. That's crazy. The and Disruptor, okay. The Mag Glass on the way down. So look at the counter calls with the beam here, but you can't really do much when you got the Dorito on the backside, so you can't really call Doom Beam that well. Okay, good jump out. S on the way down. Able to convert. No, not quite. Good blocks from Ray after the scrambles. Oh, let's see. Maybe if he had gone for the super jump a little earlier, maybe could have gone for the touch. Blue Bomb was just too active at that point. Oh, right now they're just duffing each other with the beams. Like It's like Mothman gets one, Ray gets one. Here we go. Shockwave. We're going to get some pressure here. Going for the low. And great blocks from Mothman. Okay, getting the hard tag in. Got to get Modok some health here. It's You already know with a battle like this, it's the war of attrition. It's the long game. You know, you got to keep all your characters healthy here to fight. That was like the first Astral Vision Mothman's gone for in the set. Okay, slow down. All right, Ray able to navigate it. No, getting hit by one X Factor to keep him alive. I, I don't know. don't know how I feel about this. I respect it, and I appreciate the way that Ray wants to play and his thought process of his own game plan here. But from a personal perspective, that X, I feel like you maybe want to save it. Mm, now you got to get Magneto out of here. Shockwave possibly? Yes, you already know the DHT is coming out. Going to bring in Sentinel. Had to spend it. Delays a little bit. The guarantee was going to get blocked. Because it's one of those things. You, you still have Phoenix in the backside, but right now Ray's winning. You know, like the way this match is gone, they can go to another timeout here. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised to see Moth start to invest into Astros. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see an Astro come out. Oh, no, tax instead. He invested in the G. Great, that's what he's investing in right now. He already knows. All right, TK Overdrive, X Factor, able to catch Sentinel that. very cleanly. Definitely the correct decision. <gasps> get yourself set up, get the kill. Doesn't get the kill though. Oh, and you can't just super because the hard drive. Going underneath. Oh. Tail in. Only gets one Sentinel. Get better. Oh, what a throw here, OTG. Yes, you do. All right, X-Factors are off the table here. 20 seconds, air dash out. Look at him try to get it, but the throw too fast. Still not enough to kill. Yeah, and that's like one of those things where you almost, like, if you get a clean hit, you almost want to snap, but you're now you're not going to be able to. Now she's popped. Dark Phoenix definitely oh. dictating the pace now. Nine seconds left on the clock. No. It comes through. Just barely built the bar. TAC. Infinite. Oh, he dropped it. Foot dive on the way down. Good blocks from Mockman. Air to air. Able to connect from Ray. There's not enough time, though. You can't kill if you wanted to. Had to go oh. to the reset, but even with the reset, couldn't get it done. A super jump. And in a game six. Mothman clutches, bro. That was a crazy set. Cool Kevin back to it once again, facing off against Mickey, who has already seen some success today. Doing pretty well. We're going to see that Chris action. You already know, but, man, facing up against Dual Kevin, you know the deal here, man. That Deadpool, Dante, Hawkeye, pretty strong here. Yeah, especially, like you said before, uh, we said it during the Ray match, uh, it's so hard to call drones against Deadpool. The character is just so dominant at being able to lock that portion of the screen down. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely for sure, man. And right now, Duke Kevin's opting for the zoning here. It's generally what Chris wants to do, but I feel like just Deadpool does it so much better, though. Double jump, evasiveness out of the corner. Okay. And even as Chris closes the distance there, using the flame grenades to be able to get across, mm -hmm. it's not quite enough to be able to escape. Looks for the super jump, can't quite Ooh. find it. There we go, off the air throw here. And a lot of Chris's health has already been taken down in the neutral, so Dual Kevin can definitely kill off this. There we go, bringing in Dante. Should be enough here. Perfectly Oops. timed to kill in the last hit. Look for the lockdown. Oh, just waiting for the pineapple surprise. X Factor, easy for Kevin here. Push back into the corner as well. Needs to put a little bit more on the bar and does here. You'd be surprised how many people lose to that mix-up in particular just by being a little too antsy and pressing too early. Yeah, I mean, oh, waiting for the jam session to push forward and crossing underneath here for Dole Kevin. Two bars. Yeah, he's gonna. it's going to be close. You should be able to kill. 
Yeah, million dollars should do the job, especially, yeah, with danger happening that early. Generally, the marker for dancing in the Dante against most characters is right after danger. It'll it'll guarantee kill. It's too good, man. Too good off the scaling and whatnot. Here we go. Dole Kevin taking the first game. Okay, a little bit of damage here. I like it when uh, Deadpool's able to put, like, you know, straight damage on Chris before he actually gets a clean touch here, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's what, one of the only big weaknesses of Deadpool is that his damage is, like, pretty average. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. But it, it's definitely something to deal with here because, like, Chris has a lot of it. So you're going to you're gonna get to see right here. Yeah, see, he opts. He knows right around that spot that it wasn't enough to kill that you opt just for the reset there. Okay, Ninja Tools, Jam Session clearing out here. See if Mickey can get something going and catch Deadpool here. This is the perfect opportunity right now. Drone's falling down, able to catch with the low. Yeah, twice in a row he looks for the low. Can't quite find what he's looking for, though. Oh, look at the swing on that. Jam Session, you're going to get a look with the uh, pineapple surprise. Yeah, trying to go for the chip. Yeah, Alpha Counter every time into the hard drive here, but GDT so you can get into it and punish it perfectly. Oh, I think he thought he was going to be in the air still. Still fine, though. Gets the hit. Oh, no. Mickey had it right there. Yeah, you just can't zip like that for free. That's a free air throw every time into the super here. We may see an X Factor. 100%. Yeah. Definitely the correct call here. Because mm -hmm. you can build a lot more bar, go into DT. You just want to try and build the one before you do it. You going to side switch? Nope. Keep it simple. <gasps> Dropped it. Mickey, no punish, though. Could have just gone by on the guard. Right there, man. Getting Deadpool in. Yeah, catching De Sentinel. He's so big. Yeah, definitely climbing the tree on that one. Gets the kill. Gets the sec full secure. That's going to kill, man. That's down, more than enough. Down to just the anchor. This is a terrible spot right now. Mickey has a lot of work to do here. Scott shot, teleport. Oh, off the triple arrow, keeping it on to block stun, man. That was our block string. That was kind of ridiculous from Dual Kevin there. And what Dantes are using the mash neutral heavy Scott shot? Like Not many. <laughs> Not many. Usually some opt for weasel shot. That's better ones. So, you know, yeah. you can uh, kind of go away from the character or for um, your opponent. But it kind of does the same job, you know. Easy X Factor early from Dual Kevin here, trying to go right after Spencer because Mickey was opting to uh, use Chris early on and then swap the Spencer right here. X and no kill though is really tough. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get a super. It looked like tag come through. Spencer lives and your and your opponent used their X Factor. This is a huge victory for Mickey. Oh, off of that team hyper super. A lot of damage. Is it gonna kill? No, not quite. But you're gonna get some. Uh, you're gonna get a look here. Up the trade out with uh, Jam Session, which actually is pretty strong in that spot. Oh, cross under. Nice. Look for the meaty. Trying to prevent the double jump. Flame grenades. Yes, Mickey in business right now. And the relaunch off the flame grenade. Oh, this is going to hurt. Builds a ton of meter. A little gun game action. And you got Spencer on the backside, so you already know Bionic Maneuver's coming out. This is going to be a ton of damage here. Well, more than enough to kill. You got the OTG? Yeah, you're good to go. Bray here from Mickey, showing signs of life. Go to stare down, look for the low, the blocks. Oh, the tech at the bottom. Happy birthday, Dual oh, Kevin. No. Oh, that's going to hurt. Doesn't get the kill, though. I'm surprised he didn't go for the forward medium. Maybe he was just scared of it dropping because of Big Body Sentinel. It, it could have. The, uh, the assist could have popped out of time because there's a lot of startup on that other super. So I'm actually not sure, but that's what I'm assuming it's going to be. Going prone here, slowing it down. I mean, right now, Mickey doesn't have to overextend himself. They have a really good lead. Yeah, and uh, Kevin has plenty of time to work with as well. You can see he's uh, looking confident. Not looking too worried about his situation. He's holding up back, shooting some arrows, winning the oh chipboard no. by a mile right now. You got DHC out. Yeah, you go maneuvers, but Gimlet can punish. There you are. X Factor, get a look. Can you get it? Oh, just short of the S. Yeah, he missed a dash. That's so unfortunate. You don't have to keep going in, man. 
Oh, the snap error from Mickey, no. And X Factor being up here is making this all of a sudden very winnable. A little bit more chip, but you gotta watch the gimlet calls. All it's gonna take is a few here from Kevin. Spencer coming through, no bar. You can do this all day. No, you don't, no fear of the bionic arm. All right, there's the bar. That's gonna connect. Yeah, I mean, had to test him there. Was trying as hard as he could. Kevin did not have the life to be able to survive the bionic arm, though. That was a solid plan for Mickey there. As soon as the bar happened, you saw the super from Kevin, you knew right away. All right, just gonna go character select here. I think Kevin tried to change, he ain't changing his assist or anything. And maybe yeah. he's just readjusting in his yeah. seat. He said, I need a second, hold up. Stand jab, start, almost had it there, off the drones. It's definitely one of those things where the team is completely tuned up. There's real no, uh, there's no swap here. The only type of swaps he ever does is sometimes he will hold a button to start Hawkeye depending on matchups, but even that is in a, once in a blue moon. Yeah, 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 for sure. Pineapple surprise, able to jump over here. Spencer not able to catch. And again, oh, look at the chase. I like the aggressive play from Mickey here with Spencer right now. Doing a very good job of getting in dual Kevin's face and not giving him space. Ooh, OTG whiffs. Close enough. Still fine, though. Jam session clear. Okay, dual Kevin in here. He has enough to kill off this. Already built a three. Gonna have to do it in two. I like it. Did it a little early to make sure they kill in the tail end. Perfect. So you can get the hard tag into this. So you get the 50 50 off the jam session. Mm, good block on the first mix. But that late push block will always bite you. It, it's hard to deal with with this team, man. Go for the infinite here for Kevin. And this one could take a long time if he try, decides to go the whole way through. And no, just messed up on the little spacing. I think he held the airplay just a tad too long there. Okay, flame grenade going for the air to air and the throw on the way back down. Easy confirm. Keeps it absurdly simple. I love that. Dude, you have to do the sky dance if you're going to launch again. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Okay, and this super pulls you out of the corner. So, good situation here. Cross under. Okay. Look for the air to air. What a light on the way down from Mickey here. Bro, simplify, simplify. You have X Factor. You just need to kill. Oh, I mean, you already have five bars, too. There's no reason to extend that. You're not even building any extra meter. No. Here we go. Going to build Dante in. DHC out. Nope. Keep Deadpool in. Hyper Sentinel Forest does connect. Wow. Lucky for Mickey right there. That's so fortunate for them. Now you just gotta watch out for those box dash H's here. Oh God, GC Yoshi's oh. team, GC Yoshi's game plan. Right. Jumping, uh, standing, as a couple times in a row, can't quite find the mark though. Mickey's trying to put some pressure on, tech at the top there. Oh, look, he baited the throw. Just was right out of position for the M. As again, look at that, you see Kevin going for the throw every time. And that's gonna be a punish. Last hit's <gasps> a little bigger, last hit's a little bigger. Oh, oh. S does connect. Mickey's back in. Still, there's a terrible matchup you're coming into, and he still has X-Factor. You gotta hit him right away. Gimlet, X-Factor. Okay, you're gonna get a hop here. Oh, and that is it, old Kevin. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you're in that block string, you have to push block, and if you reset to neutral, you lose again. Absolutely. See how the, uh, how the West is able to establish himself against the uh, the interesting stylings of Frankie G, obviously a very fast player. And overall, usually does pretty well against people with drones, I feel like, because he's pretty decent at brute forcing people. Yeah, but the difference is inside has speed to his team, man. You already know this is going to happen. Oh, tail end hits. Not not too big a deal here, but inside he's going to move around and try and get these drones off and then try to get you underneath them and set up command throws or stagger pressure. That or just wear you down with a gun. I mean, already doing a very good job so far being... Uh, a pest as yeah. Wesker uh, kind of specializes in. It's like a mosquito, right? Yeah, for sure. Can't catch it. Try to hit it. It just, it just tags you. There we go. Inside already doing work here. Cross under between the photons. Off of the drones. Great adjustment here. 
Burn kick. Okay, snap. Yeah, you weren't going to kill. Go after the Virgil. Keep it meaty. And that's the one thing I love about this. And the counter! Oh, my He knew God. Frankie was going to be pressing on the way down. I mean, Virgil, X Factor 2, potentially, you're fighting from behind. Of course he's going to press. Mm. Look at the meaty on the light. Try to get the teleport. Back out into the middle, mid screen here. I like that. Just try and keep Frankie into one corner if he can. All right, Photons, try to slow it, trying to snipe an assist call, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Off the teleport, backs off again. Frankie, this is like one of the deals where, like, you know, Frankie is a pretty fast player himself, and I don't feel like he's been able to match the speed of inside right now. Yeah, so far, not quite. Lands goes for the super, gets a little bit of damage on the assist, but that's, I mean, while that adds up on Sentinel, all that really matters is hitting the point character. The West Coast oh. has just been unobtainable. Goes through, gets the super, and is going to be able to get the kill. I love that, man. He just said raw H. You're going to have to eat this, bro. Yeah, that multi-hitting standing heavy. Love it's very good. It's very good. And it's cancelable. That's the one thing. There we go. Phantom Dance to start the match. Got the drones to keep it tri safe, but the glasses are off here for inside. Good blocks right there on the way down. Yeah, it's like you were saying earlier, the gunshots are starting to, you know, they, they add up very quickly yes. if you get hit by a few or block a few. All right, teleport across again. Frankie just can't catch him. I mean, Frankie is doing a good job of building meter still, though, because of how often he's counter-calling the drones with beam, as well as making Wesker block the beam. So while he's not getting oh. a lot of headway in terms of life, Oh, no. That's so rough. A little DHC right there. You know, photons keep yourself safe, but that isn't the case. Cross back under with the, okay, try to put the beam out. Stagger pressure early. That's preemptive. It's actually kind of good. It might work out later because it's not going to work out right now. Frankie has to probably come back to that again. Okay, bring in Virgil. You already know, teleport. Good blocks. Cross back under, able to get the connection here. Getting rid of Virgil, the most important piece of the puzzle, as you know. I mean, just assessing the team comp here from Frankie. Virgil really is the, the key piece to being able to stay in it if you do not get a lead inside. Can maybe put this one away. For sure. I mean, oh, going for the command throw? No. What an X factor from Frankie. He's not out. For the better gun pressure. Okay. Super jump at the top. Yeah, hard drive across. So this way he has to chase you down. Waste that precious X factor time. Oh, with that X factor, should be able to secure the kill and does. Very nice from inside. He's looking very strong right now. There we go, Phantom Dance. Oh, good Mag Blast preemptively from Frankie. You do know that there are certain like tools that other characters have that can blow that up. Most projectiles. Okay, avoided the drone. And again, it's the same situation. I mean, Frankie is able to secure a pretty decent lead on meter, but the, the meter lead is not turning into anything. Nice defense again. It, it almost doesn't matter because inside's willing to spend it just to get that 10% speed boost with Wesker. The glass is off every time, but not going to matter here. Frankie with the textbook punish there off the S. Watched wave dash maybe. That was a little unfortunate there on the yeah. back. Yeah. Caught the rhino charge. Didn't want to spend any of your resources there. Yeah, you take that. Right, look at that. No meaty. Oh, catch it with the low. You already know, man. Frankie G want to be up in the air. He don't want to be on the ground. Oh! Cross up burn kick. Couldn't quite get the fall into the drone. Looks for it again. Frankie is mashing, crouching light, and he gets obliterated by the Exisma. got destroyed. Inside didn't move from that spot. Just let the Seisma rock. And oh, oh! Frankie was out of there. He had escaped, but he just falls straight back in, and that should do it. Yeah, he has enough meter. That is it. Yep, first time and nothing else required. Three games straight inside. Looking ridiculous. Ooh, here we go with a classic of DXP and Ray Ray here. Hey, this is, a, this is a new classic. I know, Coast, man. West Coast, bro. I'm about this. I want to see how uh, Ray deals with uh, DXP's, you know, sword pressure. When I got to talk to Justin about the game a little bit, uh, that was the one thing that he was thinking about Whoa. the most as he watches DXP. DXP is like the product of obviously a lot of matches, but he is the product of like science experiments. His flowchart is unmatched. He has say. a great flowchart. I 100% agree with that, man. 
In terms of like with a modern Marvel game, like SoCal, oh, he's about to get blown up. SoCal's flowchart is unbelievable, and you can see there, good follow-ups, good pressure was planned the entire way through. No freeform jazz involved. Just makes it work. I don't think I've ever seen Ray get stuff like that quick in my life. A game one perfect against Ray Ray is a uh, a dime a dozen, we'll say. Just my orbs. Okay, yep. Keep it safe. Teleport. Able to catch Ray immediately with under two seconds. But you don't have the meter here, so you're going to have to opt for the TAC or reset there. So Ray, ready for it. Okay. Just my orb. Getting blown up from the beam. I love the counter call assist from Ray here, man. He is a master at that for sure. Look at it. Oh, my. Yeah, I had the whip punish decommitted Ooh. because of Vajra and still had time to get back in with his assist. There's not many people on this planet that can actually combo off that. That man, he is so good at playing Magneto. All right, here we go. Trying to get underneath Photons. Try to slow it down. Definitely a good look from DXP here. Trying to get Ray away. Look, at he knows the beams are coming. He does a good job of pulling them down after the Photons. Ooh, right into the drones and Ray, man, dude, from downtown. Goes for the snap, brings in Strider. It's like one thing when you play some other Strider players, it's like, eh, you know, they play Vajra and they're okay, but DXP has a really good Strider, too. It definitely does. As we go for the dash up there, very smart, X. knowing Legion was coming. Had to X that at the top, Tempest. Nope, okay, Spear Flame, gonna negate it. Same side, Ooh, almost got hit there. Yeah, might got hit again. Might have been too low to actually go for the uh, for the dash there. There is a minimum height limit on air dash for certain characters. He needs a hit here. X Factor is about to wind down here. Drones, H, okay. Get the bird bomb, Buddha bomb. Yes, does it again. Has the orb here, so this can be max damage right now for Strider. Yep, bird bomb into the wall. Kling definitely maxing out the damage as best he can. Legion into the DHC. That's so sweet, dude. Just that little extension there. I know it didn't kill, but it's very sweet to just see how far uh, they pushed Strider as far as the character, too. Good blink away, though. Ooh. Nice pun. He, Strider should be dead there. By all accounts, that's a drop from Ray. You, that's a you already know that like New York knows how to punish that character oh, so yeah. well. Like Especially with Magneto, like it's been seen. I've seen it time and time again. You cannot call Vajra for free on Ray Ray. It's not happening. Launcher into the shockwave, pop the expector just in case, and the EM disruptor, the insurance policy. Ray should have this game in the no. bag, and with a high low like that, it's no surprise. One to one. Absolutely. What an answer back. I mean, at the start of this match, DXP was able to get a very clean first hit. They're not really clean, but he got the hit, but wasn't able to kill, and Ray just kind of like, you know, beat him down very slowly over that whole course of the match. Checks the round trip though, tries to go for the high low, doesn't mm. quite work out. Nice dodge on the Vajra. It cuts oh, the beam as well. Because of H, man. You already know that that thing will beat projectiles sometimes. And here we go. Got the sword booted up here for DXP. Definitely has enough to take care of Magneto. Yamato is broken. Yamato is pretty ridiculous, <laughs> bro. Hey, I don't know if you know the lore on it, but Yamato is ridiculous. Here we go. Same side. Oh, H, but didn't believe. All right, got the swords up again. Teleport right there. Vajra just brings you back down to Earth while the swords are still active. Great stuff from DXP here. Yeah, I think Ray was trying to scout for the DHC there, to try and get his own Doom out. But unfortunately now, locked down in the pressure once again. Tries to go for something and can't quite escape. Loses the Doom for his troubles. There you go. Keep it extended. Get the kill here. DXP looking very strong right now. Vajra, easy X Factor here from Burgess. Yeah, and Sentinel, easy pickings at that point here. Going to be open for the teleport, and he builds up the second bar. Not like we're going to need it, though. Oh. Sentinel does even – Sentinel takes the most damage from that super of any character in the entire game. Are, are you, are you going to talk about it? DXP, two wins, two perfects. That's kind of crazy to me, man. Oh, and then the clean hit once again. And there was some neutral in that last game too. It wasn't like a like a 99 second blow up. No, I wouldn't even honestly I didn't even notice until it happened. There we go. Clean hit from Ray off the mag blast with the follow-up of the drones here. Already built the three here, so he's gonna definitely gonna be able to get Virgil out. There we go. Tempest. Yeah, you got the spear flame on deck. That should be enough. Alright, good answer back from Ray here. 
Tags back into Magneto. I, I think so. Magneto beats Dr. Doom. That's yeah. definitely a good matchup for Ray. You should take it, but you just got to watch out for the Vajra, and that's the one thing why you opt for Magneto is because of the mobility and the punishment that you can install on Strider. Yeah, air to air goes crazy well in his favor. Okay, neck glass. Oh, Dr. Doom going to take a lot of damage here. Very close, I not overextending. Surprised we didn't see a shockwave there to try and just secure the kill. But either way, I mean, Ray knows best. Didn't want to go for anything too risky here, especially with the level three potential coming from DXP. Good safe tag. Yeah. Yes. But not a good throw tag. Here we go. Ray opting for the snap, going right after Strider. Doesn't want the level three to make a comeback here. I definitely think that's the right call. It's one thing to deal with, you know, Ray, other Striders, but this isn't a regular Strider here. Okay, adjustment. Oh, he DI'd a little messed up there. And just like that, the slide in the shockwave. Going to connect here. Can't get the planks, Dude. though. So how rare is it? Not only just a drop combo, but a drop combo on movement from Ray Ray. Mm, it's not often, but here we go, man. Vodger coming through here, getting a clean hit. Doom, half health with the teleport. Ooh. And this all of a sudden is looking like it's DXP's game with two characters left over. Three bars still available. That should do it. They dropped the OTG here, looking for the tech at the top, but Ray is ready for it. Ouroboros. You know, it's still very good, but it's not as potent as it is when it's an X Factor, you know? He said, this. you gotta eat this chip. It's no risk, Ooh. that no risk pressure of just mashing things out, just going for birds, bombs, everything in between. DXP, safe and solid. All right, here we go. We got Romora going up against Escalante here. This is definitely one we get to see on Parsec quite a few yeah, times, you know? It's good to see it in person. Starting the Magneto as well. Definitely interested to see how the Magneto start goes because I feel like normally when players have the option to start Morgan against Zero, it usually feels like a pretty good matchup. It feels pretty 50-50, maybe very slightly Morgan. I mean, you've seen what Escalante just did there, right? Yeah. He, he likes the mobility to get away from Zero at the start of the match, build the second bar, and then bring her in safely. Yeah, Shockwave you know? Astral is definitely like the uh, one of the greatest strengths of his team for sure. 100% agree there. But now you, you got the Morgan doing its thing. Ramora's taking a lot of damage already, and he has not been able to get a clean hit on Escalante or get close to him. There we go, missiles at the top, putting a little bit of damage. Now you gotta come right down into this. Okay, good blocks. Oh, and the hard tag there. Zero gonna take a little bit of damage too as well. Oh, just one or two more fireballs will potentially end it. Has to go Sogenmu. Oh, assist out. He can't go for a raw tag. Couldn't save his character if he wanted to there. No, not at all. But here we go. Clean hit for Ramora. Has to make this one count. That's been the first one of the match, and we're quite a ways into it. Yeah, even with Virgil lurking in the background, this needs to be a game-winning hit. I mean, as every hit needs to be for uh, for Zero. Especially in Marvel, man. You already know. Like, you drop one character, it could be over, and just like that, oh, giving him a chance. All right, Photons looking for the chip here. He only did that because I'm pretty sure he was going to kill Doom, but it's okay. Still gets Zero. Dr. Doom comes in on actually zero HP. Yeah, he, he's literally, yeah, like, breathed on and died. And now Remora, you still have Virgil there. Has set up Virgil to where he's not gonna have to oh. take an incoming. Oh, missile save the day. Oh, Helmbreaker, he hit the assist and he thought he hit Doctor Doom. Hundred percent, he thought. He oh, hit Doom. I mean, when you go for the Helmbreaker in that crazy of a situation, especially if you didn't see the assist come out, you got it. That's the situational crazy. awareness required to uh, understand that situation on the fly is ridiculous. He thought he had it. He was just trying to figure out which way he was going to high time he, after that. I thought he had it too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Escalante taking the first one here. Oh, okay. There we go. That's the clean hit Ramora's looking for here. But no, the drop. Able to get it. Missile's coming out at the same time. This is probably going to end in the neutral. Oh, yeah, Ooh. absolutely. Remora is one of the only zeros that has that confirmed, too. That's hard to do, That's a crazy right? one. All Unfortunately, right. drops because it scales in a weird way because he has to do a couple uh, awkward lights during that combo, so it's different than normal. Absolutely. But Escalante's team is bleeding right now, man. So Remora is doing a good job right here. But now we got Morgan in, so this can slow it down and get some of his uh, characters on the bench some health back. Yeah, pushed away. Fireballs on the ground. Control the space as best you can. Zero. 
doing his best to just survive here. So Genmu in response to Astral, it's, uh, I mean, trading a meter to guarantee about half of Astral's ineffective is usually pretty okay. I mean, you'll generally take it. I mean, hey, just Escalante has to watch out for those Magneto calls. And Disruptor coming out, builds the bar, Astral Vision again. Here we go. Start, uh, start leaning on Dr. Doom a little bit more. He has tons of health to call these. Yeah, going into the double grounded fireball pattern makes Virgil feel like he has Ooh. to go for some kind of airborne approach. Oh no, and loses Magneto just like that. So unfortunate. Dude, Dr. Doom took a fireball for Virgil there too. If he doesn't call Doom, Virgil actually dies from a fireball there. Yeah. Missile's coming down here. Zero in ship range. Shell kick gonna end it. Okay, Photons. Trying to go after Dr. Doom a little bit. Sometimes that's worth it, you know? Like, yeah. trying to make your opponent think twice about calling an assist, especially in a matchup like this. Okay, a little bit of fireballs. Oh no, every time he jumps up, he's just getting duffed by a few of them. Okay, shell kick. Oh, and it crosses up. Missile's raining down. Snap, going right after Virgil here. And the cross under, so sneaky. I finds the hit again, Dr. Doom. All right, I mean, does have X. He's gonna have to pop it on his terms, yeah. That's generally a win, man. Anytime you can get him to do it, you're in Astral Vision, and he's like, you're not gonna get a chance to come chase me down. I like the aggressiveness from Escalante in that ending. That is the, that is the difference between a Morgan and a top level Morgan right there, is understanding I only need one more hit. It doesn't even need to be a combo. I've got him to block a fireball, and missiles will be on their way. I have time for like two 50 50. Being able to uh, switch the aggression on a switch rather than a slider is so important for the character. Morgan's, especially in that moment, like you're saying there, are so good for a uh, dash down standing low or a standing light, which is the low, and yes. then uh, cancel into shell kick flight. So you gotta drop, you gotta block low high. Like that's pretty difficult to do in this game sometimes. Nate with the buster. Activate the assist of a little bit extra meter, gets away and has the two bars. So, I mean, the win condition so far in this set has been secured. Here comes the swap. All right. Look at it going after zero here. I definitely like that play. Escalante's not trying to let Ramora hang in this game. He's trying to go after him, secure the win right away when he has a chance there with the Astro Vision. But it has ran out, so now we're back to the neutral. Oh, H, okay, great confirm here from Ramor off of the missiles. Yeah, no cute, adjustment though. A cute idea to try and dash out of there, but couldn't quite get the way he wanted to. Gets the cross up, gets the hit, but it doesn't kill. Zero on life support right now. Oh, the tail end of the other fireball, even though she got hit, that thing is still coming. He forgot about it possibly. It's just like this. Ramora in a terrible spot right now. This could potentially just be a three to zero from Escalante. And you can see, look at the switch Ooh. up on the fireball patterns. The damage starting to add up. Missiles are coming down. Hard tagging the Virgil here. This hard Did tag, while I normally think it's a good idea, has not worked for Ramora so far. And it's not working right now. Shadow Blade able to confirm here from Escalante. Oh! That was your ankles are turned to dust. Oh my. <laughs> Escalante, bro. Wedge, man. I know you. I know you're big on Wedge. Wedge is such a good player. I, here's the problem: is I am big on Wedge, but it's well documented that I am the number one Mothman fan. Number one. Number one. Number one. No, All right. Mind, I'm no, no, I want to go for Wedge again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Wedge starting off very, very strong. Obviously, top 24 winners to even be at this position. You have to be playing kind of ridiculous as we go for the shoot up. It should be able to just kill Morgan right, uh, excuse me, Modoc right off the rip. Uh, Sorry, they look so similar. Oh, but what a punish from Wedge, though, off the Baja. Because, like, regardless, that's a built in cross up. Yeah. And on top of that, he was able to get the clean hit, so. Grapple, okay, they can only go one way. The only way you can get out of that is a hard tag. Yeah. Or, you know, it just depends what Dante does. His options are hammer to beat the hard tag, or he can cross you up. I mean, drive, a pretty high durability projectile doing well on the ground, but can't find anything for it. 
Mm, Mothman going to be able to secure the kill here. Definitely want to spend it if you can catch Dante here. That takes away your jam session. Also, a lot of your 50-50s, but Strider can kind of still do the same thing. Wow, the H unfly H. That was such a sick confirm. It's usually S, right? Like, yeah. You know, shell kick is so good. It's multi-hitting, but, you know, coming through with the H and the TAC here for Mothman. Oh, no, dropped it, though. Giving Wedge another chance. Got the family-sized Dorito out there. That thing is huge, brother. Keeping them corralled. Oh. Lock them down. Going to go for the super. Look at him. He said, nah, you ain't getting out for free. That's for sure. But yes, we are. What a throw here. Snap. You're an X Factor. You have a chance. Oh, there it is. Not enough. Oh, so close, though. But you this get to is deal a win with, condition. You get to deal with Dark Phoenix in orbs. This is He's great. He's going to tag. Oh, he got it! I cannot believe he fought it out. I thought he it was should have tag tagged. Too. He should have tagged. Because the, right there, when you get uh, Strider the Popper, when you have orbs, there's not much Phoenix can yes. actually do. She has to eat that. Yeah, you're playing. That's the it, win condition. It's so rare to play disadvantage neutral, but that's one of those spots for her. <laughs> for sure. And look at that. The bomb actually killed Modok on the way out of here. Oh, and all of a sudden, I mean, this is still a tough matchup here because the X Factor is available for Morgan, but. He's looking a little more manageable, potentially. Ooh. Gets the hit, almost kills. Wow. I, I, You know, for a second I was thinking, I was like, Wedge has a chance to do it here, and then Mothman never even gave him the space after. Now that fireball connecting pretty much sealed the deal. Runs the start, take a little bit of straight hits there. Vajra, you can't go up to the top. That's one of the deals. Strider prevents you from just kind of hanging out and sitting up at the top like you normally want. Wow, and after the snap, the mix-up is just too toxic. Takes the kill. Honestly, I feel like Wedge's team actually counter counters Mothman's pretty well. Moth's team is designed to just be able to avoid you purely via air movement. And yeah, Vajra jam session as your assist. It's like designed with beating this in mind. It's like two top five assists on your team here, man. It's very strong. Go enough to kill on Morgan. Wedge in very solid position right now with the cross under, but still gets it with the polo. And now we have the X Factor. That should be enough right here for Wedge. Definitely should. Looking at maybe a perfect here, honestly. Oh. <laughs> like, you know how hard that is against man. Morgan Modoc? And Phoenix, bro. Like, never. All the characters on incoming, they have a chance right there, man. Wedge's incomings were disgusting. Gotta watch the Vodra. Okay, see, he goes down to the ground really quick. Quick work, able to do it. That's crazy, because he knew the Dorito was there, so he was trying to alter his combo route because of it, but couldn't alter it into anything meaningful, which is a little unfortunate, but you know. I mean, right now, Wedge is just putting the pressure down on Moth, man. Look at that. Right after that, keeping Morgan safe. Luckily, the Dorito is there. Any other any other time, you get blown up for that. Vodra gets a hit, but again, on the grounded hit of Vodra, doesn't get that hard knockdown that you know and love. Oh, going for the chip, Morgan in. We're already at four, so it's, now this has come to the point where like you might not be able to get Phoenix here. You want to get three for Strider if you get to the anchor position here. Stan Light almost had it, Scott Shot getting blown up here. Yeah, and this clean hit secures Phoenix and potentially kills Dante, but no, Killer P into the, dude, into the Vodra. I love the patience on that, because he knew, man. You know, yeah. if you just wait just long enough, you're fine there. The OTG or the uh, Vodra will connect again. And he can't spin there. He has yeah. to eat that. Yeah, there is the option for Shadow Servant, but like you said, you just can't risk it. You know, Dark Phoenix is uh, one of those characters that can secure games and make and break sets. All right, look for the S on the way down. Alpha counter, quick work. Oh, wow, that was ingenious from That's Wedge. Kind of sick, actually, absolutely. Yes. S, able to connect. Yes, Mothman. But what are you going to do here? TAC? Yeah. A little bit of extra damage. Not going to build some bar. Taking it to the top. I don't think I've ever seen this high on this level before. Yep, checking out, you know, the tower in the distance. Oh, my God. Building up a ton oh of God. knowledge and gets the hit, secures the kill. Dante comes in, and there's the guard break because of the push block timing. And Dante's going out right now, man. Wall bounce, jammer. Yeah, go for the snap. Bring in Phoenix here. You're already at four. I like the idea from Wedge because you have to shoot your shot there. Especially knowing that your last character is jammed, you've got to do something. But Moth is just too sick. This is going to be rough. 
This is gonna be so rough right here. Look at it. it, 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 it. <laughs> <laughs> the dash, he didn't know which way he was. The tiny legs, bro. Boy is pedaling the bike. Kicking him down. <laughs> Very nice. Mothman <laughs> one away. Taking a second for himself. Moth takes a second when he's ahead of Loft. It's just interesting, though. It doesn't affect the match at all. It's just I like thinking about how people handle those moments. It must be hard thinking about winning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, man, I gotta do Phoenix again. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> Mothman has probably played double the amount of time of Marvel as anyone else, if only just because his matches are three times to two times as long. As you know else. now I'm thinking about it, yeah. Marvel's probably stressful from his lens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not stressful when you get four bars this fast, though. Oh, it, it's time. stressful right now because now you gotta fight his Phoenix. Air throw, you gotta get this OTG. Oh, it's just no. not far enough. Sacrifices Modok to get the team back in order. Definitely the correct call. Okay, Pineapple Surprise. Oh, good neutral guns right there. They're kind of slow Morgan down. Yeah, but I mean, right at this point, you you know, Phoenix is pretty much as good as here. So as long as Wedge can keep doing what Wedge is doing is, you know, putting the guns out in the neutral, building bar, you're fine. I definitely agreed. But the only issue here is, like, going into Phoenix, half the time you don't, ooh. I was expecting that there. Yeah, going into Phoenix, you always want Strider to have three. So, like, oh, okay, okay. You're going to get the pop here on Deadpool. Ugh. Dude, presence of mind to know where that was going to end up and still get the combo. You know, it was really cool, Wedge. It was cool. There's a chance. It's not a good back, one. We're back. Killer B! Oh, my oh. God, bro. From the top rope, you just do it? Yeah, That's don't even teleport. actually insane from when. Oh. That is axe murder activity. There's no <laughs> way he just... <laughs> hey, oh, my God. He took a bro. shot, man, and it worked. I mean, I said it earlier. I don't agree, but I know you got to take a shot. Holy moly. I mean, it hit. What, who am I to judge? The two to two. There we go. Teleport. Now we're game five here, man. Okay. Oh. of the guns turns into Vajra. Modok felt like he had to fly away to not take the chip. Okay, cross under. Going for the throw. Push guard here. Oh, man. Dead Phoenix. Mothman has to do it with Modok and Morgan. And this is just such an inconvenient shell to play against with those two. No way. TAC here. Go for the reset. Oh, catch him with the lows. Jam session coming through. Had to X Factor because of the scaling of the jam session. So if you want to make sure you get this kill, you had to X. Oh, still had to find a reset here. Super should kill. No, Doc not White. enough bullets hit. Just barely any connected. Shadow Servant going to get a Modoc in now. Oh, this is looking rough for Mothman. X Factor is dwindling down right now. Wedge looks like he's in full control. Overhead does connect with the Vajra assist. Gonna build two. Yeah, that's as good as dead right there. TK Super able to make it happen. Dante gonna Volcano Beehive. Yes. With the scaling. Oh, I don't know. DT for Moth. Definitely that's gonna the hit. correct play. Look at the chip just adding up here. That's the one thing you do like about Dante and DT. He could sit up there for quite some time. <laughs> wow, and up the up back, he gets the Vajra. That should do he, it. He called it and then super jumped up. And there Modoc, it is. Oh. No way to close the distance. No way to make it work. Even after the drop, Wedge is certainly going to be able to finish. All right, here we go. We got some I dumb action coming up for y'all next versus inside. Yeah, I mean we we talked about it a little bit. There's been so much there's been absurd amount of Viper coming out throughout this tournament. And inside has been uh, one of the of the highest blazers and highest uh, performance of the character. Obviously the Wesker and the Sentinel doing work as well as we find that first clean hit on Dante. I feel like it's mainly the Wesker, man. The Wesker has been putting in work all day for inside. Showing you why right here, man. Clean hit on Dante. Gonna be close. And just enough. Yeah, basically the last hit. Oh, good air to air light. Almost had it there. 
Now trying to catch Dormammu is another task in its own for uh, for Wesker, as you see why. Stocking player going to try and set something up. Oh, that's going to connect. I think you get loops off this. Yeah, hell yeah, you do. Dude, the two supers work together perfectly. He's able to turn that into loops. Yeah, looking good right now. Keep it meterless as well. Bring in the Dormammu. I like the Dormammu versus the Sentinel. That's for sure. You know, you can uh, change the scent, uh, the neutral up very quickly, just like that with a teleport. Ooh, and that was after a uh, dash down. So now going to go for the level three. Does have the assist to potentially extend as well. Oh, so much damage, man. I know I'm so good at fighting games. Inferno is so smart. Ooh. There was a gap there, so there was the potential for an EX move to come out. But, you know, Item kind of disrespects it, and uh, inside, a little, uh, maybe gun shy there. I don't know if he had, like, the space to do it, you know? Like, Item is keeping everything pretty tight right there. Oh, you can combo that he off had, airplay, yes. He knew it was coming. He's, he's been watching film. I oh, he's listen, ready with that. Airplay will always blow up maximum Wesker, and you can get an easy killer B off it every time. So he was very aware of the situation. Our, I, I play Point Dante, not that anyone gives, cares. But you know when you play against Weskers that that is a thing right there. Yeah, that's like a, that's a very consistent mm -hmm. thing. Jab two times in a row, couldn't quite find it. Okay, chaotic flame, trying to hit the assist. Not, nothing there. Okay. That was definitely a good call. That saved you. Oh, and the eye Ooh. actually saves the day too. Breaks all the drones. The block string saves him from the assist. S is too good in that situation right there. Look for the low here. Able to get out cleanly though from Idom. Okay, with the teleport on the way down with the S. Look at him chase him down right now. Idom is moving pretty ridiculous. He's matching the pace of inside right now. Oh, just like that with the low. Yeah, hard drive. Didn't want to invest his only bar. Can't blame him. Definitely the right call against these two. You oh, do no. not want to invest into Sentinel. You'd rather invest into Viper, but unfortunately now. That's death. Viper stocks are uh, slowly going down. And for some reason, Dormammu stocks on the rise. Mm, it's like heat rises, my man. There we go. Set it out early. Yeah, still hits. It's crazy, right? Very active. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, hammer! Hey, speaking of activity, but we wake up, goes for the dash, gets the distance, crouching medium. Okay, extensions with the burn kick, up for the snap here, gonna bring in Doctor Strange. He realizes Bolts has been tearing him up here, so Bolts going after it is a perfect job. Plus, I mean, this is really the, uh, the, the best way to get damage on the team as well. Oh, for sure, man. Take away, take away this, sis. Make Dante and Dorm have the synergy together. Because Bolts helps both of them out. It's not like Dark Hole helps Dante out immensely, you know? You can get, like, double uh, prop shredder loops. You know, that's about it. There we go, level three, going right after Wesker here. You do get the follow-up afterwards as well. Yeah, I got to cash it, and it's enough. Okay, if you're going to spend it all, you better kill. Keeping it tight, getting the charges together. Oh, okay. H on the way down. Almost connected. Oh, just barely avoids most no way. of the chip from the Inferno. Still gets the hit. The X-Factor timing is very, very good. And Idom going to cook up the Sentinel. One character remains for inside. Okay, with the teleport. What a throw here. Okay. Viper has a chance to work. At least make this combo. Get all, rid of all the X-Factor time. Yeah. I like the snap here just because it was going to cost all of your meter to kill Dormammu there. <laughs> That's the one thing, man. Viper has very fast buttons, and they will just they'll blow you up in the, like, in the air and whatnot. And one of the best projectiles in the game, too, an optic blast. You oh! forget as we find that. And now anything will do it. For both players, honestly, it's probably a one-touch <sighs> game as inside finds a crazy interaction. That was kind of disgusting, man. He went, he went heavy burn kick, EX size mode, confirmed the whole way out. Look at that, negates it with the S. 
Not gonna matter inside, getting on the board here when it mattered most. Yeah, finding the air hit, able to bring it back on the anchor situation, strong showing. Okay, and he make, making any adjustments. I feel like the most impressive thing to me is watching Idom get value out of point Dante. Because that is not easy. It's hard to do, it's man. Really it's very hard to do. But if you have the right assist and you can get away at the start of the match, you're pretty good. And that's a good look here for Idom, though. Great start. You can build the second bar. You should be able to kill. And this is it. You're going meter build here with Acid Rain Prop Shredder loops. Especially being able to use Dark Hole uh, within during that Prop Shredder. Yeah, usually you can't do it because of the hits on scaling, but you're able to do it because Dark Hole's so active. Okay, got the charges, good blocks on the low. Teleport, good throw. This may be an X Factor. Definitely want to consider it. If it's not an X Factor, it might be a snap. But uh, no, just gonna go soccer player. Oh, look at the, Are you saw how serious, much bro? damage that did when it came from the wow. Inferno. That was absolutely like crazy. I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to build the meter to be able to get the kill there, but because he had the Inferno built up, that is crazy. And he baits the EX Thunder Knuckle. There you go. Oh, wow, what a Seismo from downtown from inside. Yeah, X Factor, Dorm has to go. I mean, whatever touch you get, you have to kill off of it. It's the right call. Yeah, plus Dorm has three charges still locked in, so you don't want to have to deal with that at all. Okay. Oh, almost hit with the H on the way down. Fully charged airplay. Killer B, he tried to Dude, get on the other side because he knew. What is up with Killer B hitting for everyone? It's been so many times that Killer B, raw and neutral, has been the answer. It's a dive kick, bro. I guess. <laughs> Point Dante and Point Nova is always an interesting match because I feel like we talk, we have mentioned this a bunch of times throughout a million TNS streams. He's definitely Nova favored, but Nova can't play his normal game plan, or maybe he just can. Yeah, maybe it looks very Nova him, favored. And he'll just you know <laughs> he just kill everyone like he always does. Especially with Spencer on the back end. Yeah, and you get the OTG here. That's my boy Richard. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Dainty's gone, man. Coach Steve coming out the gate strong. Coach. <laughs> the Mamu. Next one in. Oh! That is dude. He hit the, the lazy boy hitbox. He hits you with the top of his shoulder pad. Let's you have it right there, man. Here with the meter build as well for Coach Steve. This should be it. Doesn't even plasma beam. Just says the photons are good enough for me. Yeah, why not? Knew it was going to kill. Definitely the right decision. Good call. Coach Steve, dominant first game. Okay, look for the Helm Breaker. Good block. Oh, what a teleport there to get the throw here from Idom. Used the bolts earlier, so can't convert off of it. I love the one normal into the into the attempt at the box dash there. So smart. Bolts again. Stinger. Okay. The reason why you opt for that a lot of the times is because uh, Stinger Reverb Shock Fireworks does a lot of chip. Yeah. And it's safe. There we go. Got the crumple. Back to the corner. Going for the snap because it's mid screen. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You got to eat that 50 50 every time there. Easy X Factor from Coach here. Yeah, not much you can do about it as you're going to lose your life straight <gasps> away. But no, and no punish either. Both players kind of flubbing it up. Idom picks up the pieces just a little bit better, though. Can't give Idom a second chance here as X Factor dwindles down for Coach. Able to get hit cleanly right here. Four bars intact. Yeah, you're going to spend three of them right now. And you might have to spend a fourth. Oh, no, 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 no. That's unfortunate right there, drop on the tail end of that. Now, Coach is back in the driver's seat. Oh, and still does have a plus situation there. Is able to go for the low. Okay, okay. I mean, Coach turns this into a kill for sure. If this next incoming hits, Coach should be able to like, potentially snowball this into the finished game. That's the one thing is you got a meaty Doctor Strange. You can't do any like crazy fancy stuff. You might be able to do Jawbreaker or whatever, but as long as you keep it meaty and don't let him super like this, yeah, you'd be fine. 
Sets up Dagamato Eye. On the way down, looking for the hard kick. Teleport, able to get out of the corner. Definitely smart stuff from Idon here. He knows he has the lead, so he just does not need to throw. He just got to watch the jam session falls. That's about it. Look at h foot dive, good blocks. I love how much butter gun he's using. I think that's so, so smart. But in the end, jam session still is good enough to win the day. Butter gun is a very good tool, but generally, unless you have a situation that's already kind of cooked up preemptively, jump forward butter gun gets punished a majority of the time. Yeah, for sure, 100%. You do got to watch that against Strange and the Eye of Agamotto. Idom about to get on the board here and does. Daggers. He let Daggers. you know. He let Daggers you know. Air to air M trying to catch at the top. Oh, and happy birthday from Coach off of the Crouch M, man. Oh, and just for the second time, Coach Steve turns the happy birthday into a blown wide open game. Idom is going to be down to just the Dormammu for the second time. Oh, and the extensions here. Yeah, one more. Piercer able to get the kill up to Dorm now. Oh, that's so rough. He should be able to kill off of this easily. With X? Yeah, absolutely. ADK turns into 256,000 damage <laughs> in a hurry. The damage scaling is crazy as Coach Steve takes another one. He's got a bionic arm, Brandon. 250,000. <laughs> now I'm actually really curious how much it does in X Factor. I don't know the conversion rate. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Clean hit for the point Dante, though. Gonna look for mix, maybe? Ah, building that meter right now. Oh, there's a kill? Oh, dude, it's so much. Oh, yeah, he has a third bar. His team DHC is extremely well because you could still go into Doctor Strange or you can do the Inferno extensions, but he wasn't in time. Yeah, I mean, normally what you'll see is people go for one charge and then teleport. He opted specifically for all three charges. I mean, he could have even went for teleport spike at the top afterwards, too, as well. Call the assist because it will reset after stalking player. Put flame carpet down. Oh, but back and forth with the drops. Idom with a drop that cost him his X Factor. Coach Steve with a drop that cost him his Spencer, potentially. Oh, yeah, he's going after him again. Forces X, wants to keep Spencer alive. That's Punish. too far. That's not too far. I love it. He just said, I'm going to use the further Superman. I like that call there from Coach, man. He knows. Here we go. Javelin. Same Wait. side. Okay. Oh, out. jumps out. No need to get. Oh. It looked like Idom tried to jump right there, man. Catch him with the Crouch M. You already know that's a that's a Nova Classic if you've ever seen one. And that, unfortunately, leaves Idom to fight their tournament life out with the masked dude. Uh, the Magician Supreme, my man. Yeah, this is looking rough. I mean, he's going to get the super here. He can't kill. He's late to the show. Oh, no. And Idom just says, you know what? You got it. It's cool. Oh, here we go, man. We got Living Legend going up against Duel Kevin. This is about to be a good one here, man. This is uh, probably the first time we got to see Legend all day, actually. Yeah, the Chris... Dude, the Chris into this matchup is going to be very, very difficult here. And uh, Living Legend kind of recognizes that and is going to swap to the Wester point. Trying to catch Deadpool as Chris, man, is a task in its own. Yeah. At least yeah. Wesker has the mobility. Plus that guaranteed left right there on the guns, whether it's blocked or hit, is just such a terrible situation to have to deal with here. Living Legend, super into super. And now Chris in another bad spot. But... We'll see how the incoming goes. Pops for Deadpool here. Keep him locked down. Oh, yeah, I love that walk up delay low. Polo doesn't connect, though. It's okay. It happens sometimes. Chris has to fight this one through, though, but you already know. Kevin's so ready for a throw. Oh, Sand Jab almost had it there. Guns, yes. Boy. Gives you the full go. As soon as you see that triple arrow connect, you already know. OK, 
Cash it out, get Chris out of here, up to Akuma. That's the one thing you gotta watch out for here now. As soon as Legend hits the ground, you know Team Hyper Super DP is happening, but it's, he's never gonna touch it. But that is a situation that I learned a lot about recently that you have to understand to be able to block. When you get bit hit by uh, cuts time in the corner, you're no longer in the corner. Deadpool can't cross you up when your back is against the wall. But if that super pulls you that little bit out of the corner, he can go for the cross up. If that happens to you, they almost always will go cross up just to knowledge check. Mm. Oh, look at speaking about knowledge check. Yeah, seriously. Oh. Okay, Ooh. look for the TAC reset there. Legend ain't biting. There we go. Getting a clean hit here on Deadpool. Yeah, easy X factor. He already knows that this character has to go for his success to happen. Okay, we'll follow my lead action. Dante going to have to take a big guess at the end. And unfortunately, never even gets to the guess. Just gets hit beforehand. Oh, no. Jumped a little early, but S on the way down. Able to get the clear here. He's going to connect. Gimlet, no. Okay, X Factor from Dual Kevin. That's the one thing is, like, Hawkeye can't do much to you. He can add some chip. Just do not get caught in a bad situation here. Just waste that X Factor time. Yep, and you can see Living Legend content to take the chip, just up back. Even if Wesker dies, it's not a big deal. Mm. Wesker, for the entirety of Kevin's X Factor, is a fantastic trade. Yeah, you take that every time. E even this damage here on Chris right now. That's a still He can't a kill trade. off this even with level three. He has to reset. Poison tip, yep. You want that DOT? And I love that from Legend. Stays committed to the ground there. <gasps> Kevin dashes up, try to go for the throw. Oh. Level three is going to whiff, but he's going to hold on to it. He's invincible to the first <laughs> shot. Aye, but in the end, it does end up wearing off. Yeah, that's a rough one, man. The cancel on that was a little too early, dropping the level three here, giving Dual Kevin another chance. So it's going to be all up to Akuma after tag team super happens. Okay. I mean, one hit will kill for either player at this point. Akuma, not very much life. Hawkeye, below half at this point. I, oh, this is looking kind of rough. I like Legend if he can build two bars. Okay, he needs to build two more. <laughs> okay, oh, I mean, that fireball hits, hit. but now, yeah, I mean, it's starting to get even here. Tatsu comes through, and that's going to be a punish, but doesn't get a full punish. Oh, okay, I love the teleport. One more bar here. Are you going to let it rock? Tatsu does it. Yes, oh. good launcher from Legend here to tie it up. Yeah, I managed to get to the corner for the Tatsu, which is very, very strong. I mean, unless you have X Factor, I feel like normally the Tatsu, the best you get is Tatsu into Tatsu, which sometimes scales crazy. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here we go, Phantom Dance, Pineapple Surprise, able to trade off here. Right into the jam session, but Deadpool just out of position there. Tatsu going to get a look, look for the command throw. Kevin aware. Decides to jump up. Again, using that double jump. Not quite finding it the way he wants to. Ooh, there it goes. On the S on the way down, too, as well. So Kevin able to get the kill here on Wesker. This is huge. Might not have to spend. That's even better. Oh. How do you block that, bro? Ball is through again. I'm not sure. Here we go, go for the snap mid-screen, 50-50. Okay, good guard. Oh, and he come out swinging from Legend here. Definitely the right decision. If he's going to end that close to you in the CQC, you might as well take a risk. You're not going to get a better shot than that. Absolutely dead. Pull out of here. Legend in winning position right now, if he can get the hit here. Fireball down. Pushbox saved him a ton of headache there. Snap mid-screen, going after Hawkeye. DP. Absolutely. One more fireball on the way down. X Factor is active. Gimlet's going to connect. Had the force to X here. Million dollars going after the assist. But this is a snipe from Akuma. Saving Chris because of the quick thinking there. He does still have that super. He's going to trade. You just go beam and take as much damage as you can. No, it's going to let it rock the other direction. Mm. Overhead, oh, able to connect it for Legend on the tail end of X, so he's not going to have to spend any meter here. One touch will do it here for Legend. Oh, my God, and after he makes him block the meaty palm, goes up for the throw, which is so brave because if Kevin just cycle <gasps> crusher there, oh. He could have did two supers there, but he opted for that. Okay, DT is definitely the call here. Get out of there, teleport. 
Just a oh. little late on the killer B. He didn't want to go straight killer B because he didn't want to risk sticking his hitbox into yeah, the super. Yeah, that's definitely a good call. Oh. Damn, Legend is playing very good. Kevin with the tiny miscues, and Legend is killing him for them. And how rare is it to talk about Kevin mistakes? It is not. It does not happen often, man. Pineapple surprise. Okay, able to get Phantom Dance the whole way through. Look for the throw here. Put him in the corner. I love it. You you almost walk towards them so menacingly, like you're about to overhead them, and then you just crack the low real fast, and no one's ready for it. Every time Deadpool takes a full step towards you, it feels like a throw. This yeah. Is so good at tick throws. Hundred percent. There we go, Legend. Able to keep it the one bar here. That's actually really nice. He didn't build the second bar. So he didn't yes. Have to waste it. 100% what I was thinking. Keep it meaty. H, okay. Airplay out. Great defense from Kevin to make it out here. Looking for the hammer, though. Just a little too far away. J oh, wow. What a reverb shock. I wasn't expecting that to work as effectively as it did, but damn. What a trade off. Still doesn't kill him. Has to spend another bar. It's worth it. You got to get Wesker out, man. You got to tie this game up. You can build the bar later. You know what I mean? You got X Factor still, so you still have a way to kill no matter what if you get like a throw or whatnot. Okay, take your damage you can with the Magnum. I definitely like the idea. Okay. Get the Tatsu out there cleanly. You get free chip for it every single time. And right now, Legend's just playing it very smooth right here, man. Not overcommitting himself. Able to get it with the hand. Yeah. Okay, I mean, with your X popped here, you pretty much committed yourself to trying to do something to make a mark of some kind. Just hasn't been able to. The flame grenades have been too strong, oh. but there's the throw. Okay, Kevin's back in it now. You have two bars on deck. It's not going to be enough to kill. You have the TAC. Yes. Even with this TC, even with this infinite, the lack of X Factor, I mean, you have to time him out here. If this drops, Legend has a huge advantage. I think you can time him out. That's trusting, that's trusting your execution right here in a very critical moment. I feel like you have to. It's really the only chance you have. Because if you drop this, Legend's going to go super, super, and you're going to get mauled by X Factor 3 at Kuma. I remember the last time you commentated this infinite. Oh no, but ECT, my goat. What a great tournament. That Shouts was a to fantastic what a tournament. Really good tournament. Shouts to Posey, too. My what boy. Good. That's my boy. One of the goats, bro. My yeah. twin. You got time. You got time. Kevin's going to go through the whole way through, just like you said earlier. This is the correct call. Or, or like, at five seconds, level three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Helmbreaker. Yeah. No, please, no, not again. I can't, this can't be my legacy. Please, dude. Mm. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> this can't happen. Not like this. Please, no. Oh, my God. That hits him, too. This is actually unbelievable that this happened again, man. Nice block. Oh. Living legend, bro. Three to one. There's no way. I can't be remembered oh, for this, man. Oh, it's twice, bro. I love it. Oh.